Oh, got a Caduce shield in front of us. Yeah, yeah. But we're here. Yeah, we we thought we actually thought that we were going to uh, <laughs> get our own stream taken down. Well, I probably got our streams taken down for the last show. Why? Because uh, I was very animated. Okay, so thank you for joining us. Yes, yes. And uh, this one is as Lisa Blossy Cakes Redfield. Shout out to you, our Tip Two member. Yes, yeah. Flight Savage. Tip, tip Two. Month number one still. I heard that coup gate was proven false in the court system in the UK. Is that true or just hearsay for people who refuse to believe that Johnny is a victim? That's a good question because uh, I think the person that best can relate this kind of information will react to your clips in just a bit. But let me look through my notes real quick because uh, we're kind of on a time crunch right now. So here, uh, uh, uh. all right, so go over. Go over. I have a serious, serious, serious question for you. Very serious. Okay. <laughs> okay. What would you do if a woman that you were intimate with, that you had a relationship with, that's your wife of all people? By the way, actually, I can't even share the screen. Uh, struggle streaming already. Struggle. Struggle, struggle streaming struggle. already. Struggle, struggle. But here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Why, 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 why is the poop so? Why the poop is, the poop so, is for real. Why, why, why is the, why is the poop so so animated though? Uh -huh. The poop is like terrifying. Like oh, I, I, I pooped. So uh, what would you do in this situation if you were Mister John Depp? Uh, it's a serious question. I, man, look, look. Let me let me check this out. I don't know. I, I, I might have picked the poop up and threw it at her like an angry champ. Oh no, dude! Like, like one of those gorillas. Oh, oh, I was at a zoo like when I was younger, and so yeah. the gorillas were really upset. So I feel bad actually for the gorillas, but they would grab poo and start throwing it. Oh, did that used to happen at the zoo all the time? Yeah, all the time. All the time at the zoo. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like a sport for them. Yeah, it's, it's just throw poo all over the place. Boy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is a, a, a crazy, crazy situation. I mean, I'm gonna have to say this: Amber Heard, mm -hmm. she's fine as chat, but she ain't that fine. She's no, she's really fine. Uh, well, all right. Well, so, 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 so she, she, on a, okay. She, on a Patrice O'Neill scale, right? All right. Uh, zero to thirty. Yeah. I would say her facial features are like above a twenty-five. Oh no! I yeah, yeah, yeah. No damn yeah, twenty-five. Yeah. But you know, with this big old poo right here in the middle of the bed, stinking it up. Nah, man. She. she uh, I, I give knocked down a few I, points right there. I give her a twenty-one, twenty-two. I give her no above a twenty-five. In fact, let, let's look at the fecal matter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, HD. Please take this off the screen. <laughs> I don't even see this. I gotta eat dinner tonight. Jesus. All yeah, right, yeah. So, and, so, and actually, part so, two for her. So, so you never, you never, you never, you know, like, is she fine? Answer my question. Is she fine enough to to poop in your bed? No, is absolutely it, not. Is, is it worth it? Like, <laughs> well, she works it. Is she a, worth it? It's a smooth cat. Shout out uh, TLA. Is TLA. it worth it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want me to show that picture? Is, is that what you're trying to hint to me? <laughs> All right, let, let me go find that picture first. Where did I save it? I, I had know. it saved somewhere. Oh, here we go, because he's so small in this one. Look at, look at this. Here, here. Look let's at look this. at is, is it worth shout it? Shout out to the TLA for getting us over 1,000 subscribers. We have a video coming up for you real soon. Promise, promise, promise. Promise. TLA's like, I heard that in January. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, no, but check it out. Check it out. Like, like that, 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 that's not that face ain't fine enough to poop in my bed, man. No. Look, 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 nobody needs to poop in your bed. That's actually crazy. You know, you know what I said to myself? What? What I seen this. What? And I was listening to the testimony at first, right? Shout out Black Light Revelations. Shout when out to this, Black Light Revelations. When I seen it, and I was like, I see their poop in the bed. And they were talking about it. I looked, uh, I looked around and I just said under my breath, white people are crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, white people go crazy. They go all the way crazy. I don't know what happened. And I, look, I'm not trying to pick on the white people on the street, but I'm just hey, saying. Hey, I'm halfway. I I'm can just, attest that I can get halfway crazy. I'm just saying, Jesus halfway Christ, crazy. poop in the bed? Uh -huh. And then I remember I was talking to Aaron Molinsky, and he was like, yeah, my brother made me mad, so I gave him an upper decker. And I was like, what's that? He's like, I drained all the water from his tank and his uh, on his toilet, and I pooped in it. I was like, what? <laughs> what? How do y'all think of this? How do you think of it? That's how we do things. I mean. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Call your dad right now and ask him questions. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. So let's all let's bring it back. Uh, back to, let's bring it back. Uh, and, uh, I love, you know, like one of my favorite albums is white. I love the white people in my family. But Jesus Christ, y'all crazy. Okay, okay. So shout out to Chloe Roma, the Men's Rights Army. 
This is the face of a girl who just realized that the whole ass world is about to find out that she not only took a big dump on the life of Sir Johnny Depp, but took a big old shat in his bed too. Me poo. Hashtag me poo. <laughs> Hashtag me poo. All right, dude. All right, Jesus Christ. I can't. You can't? I can't. Hashtag me poo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, are, we, are we gonna be serious at all or are we just yeah, gonna yeah, talk, no, no. Are we just gonna talk shit see, this whole stream <laughs> first thing is I, no pun intended right no pun intended first thing i want to go into the more of the funny reactions but as we progress it's going to get a little bit darker so we got to talk about shit first exactly so hold on it takes a dark twist of turn let, let, let me let me translate this we gonna get the shit all out the way mm. what's with these apple phones they i can't put this thing on silence they make noises unbelievable yeah yeah you gotta you gotta like, tell it to go to sleep okay Anyway, man, look, look, Scott, just, just we're hella professional today. Just, just, just following with stuff, following with stuff. But uh, I don't know. I, I, honestly, I, I think it's me poo. I think I think it's ab absolutely uh, ridiculous. Huh? Let's give a shout out to folks who are in the, in the chat. Okay. Let me let me go all the way uh, from the top down. Primal was here hella early. And if you're still here, Primal, welcome. Uh, we got the ladies representing Nie's Rojas. Mm -hmm. Uh, Miss Redfield, uh, tip tube member. Let's see, Jada's perspective. She, she, uh, really, 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 uh, really brought the house down. And people really enjoyed having her up. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Black Light Revelations is back in the house. Thank you, sir. I'm telling you, I'm about to steal all of your put a one or put a one or two in the chats. It's just. I mean, yeah, some of the most engaged folks ever. If you if you haven't, go check out Blacklight Revelations channel. If you're into that old school, real podcasting style, I mean, informative, opinionated, strong. Mm -hmm. It's really good, really good. And young geezer in the house, me poo. I laugh my ass off. That's a funny comment, folks. Thank you so much for rocking with us. So, um, look, look, I want I want to just start it off. I just want everybody who's rocking with us put a one in the chat if you think. That uh, that Amber Heard actually pooed in the bed. Put a two if you think it's all uh, hearsay all cap. and cap. Um, put, put a one in the chat. Actually, put a one in the chat if you think she pooed the bed. Uh, put a two in the ch put a cap in the chat if you think it's cap. There we go. I, I like that a lot better. Put a cap. Well, well, okay. Yeah. You're forgetting the poop emoji icons, right? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> you gotta so use the poop emoji icons. Little, little. Uh, poop, the poop emoji icon. Use the poop emoji icons. Oh, uh, this this is one of my favorite backgrounds right here. Mm -hmm. So we got two ones so far. We got two ones. Tell. Two ones. Love it out loud. Mad at it. Uh right, right on, right on. Jada. Yeah. So, so we think we think he really pooped. Okay. So now that we know he pooped, <laughs> oh, that's fact. Turd. <laughs> hey, whoever came up the hashtag Amber Turd. Yeah, is a genius. That person right there so, deserves a promotion. We got young grazer here saying she is not fine. Oh, actually. Uh, oh, that's uh, facts. Turd confirmed. But who wouldn't one. believe it? She's full of <laughs> it. did. Uh, let's see. Uh, dude testified saying it was true. True, true, true. Uh, just gonna... Well, you know, young geezer had a good one, but it's not showing up over here on the stream yard. Uh, uh, she is not fine. She's effing psycho. Yes. So as we I... go through all these different clips. And... Yeah, but this reminds me of something. Remember... Like, I don't know if you remember when I was young, like my dad pulled me aside and he says, listen, boy, and I was well known that the finer they are, the crazier they are. Look at your mama. Your mama beautiful. Your mama beautiful. I said, are you saying mom is crazy? To shut up, boy. Don't do that. I'm trying, to, hear, I'm trying to give you some goddamn game and you're about to blow up the spot. I'll slap the hell. You know, I, I knew you was, I knew you was half dumb. I knew you was half dumb. But, 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 but the more beautiful they are, the more problems you're going to have in life. But the question is, is, is it, it worth it? Uh, it's a guy, I got it. Okay. The question is, is it worth it? Is it worth it? So in the chat, if you think it's worth it, put up a number one. If you think it's not worth it, put up caps. Man, I wish I had that, that Elgato right now. Hit that SFX sound yeah. effects. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? it? <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Are we ready? Ready to go on to the next stage? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let me uh, All right, let's, get let's... off this view here. All right. So let's go into actually Chloe Roma's clip 
I have everything bookmarked. We'll see how many of these we can go through. Jesus Christ. And um, yeah, it's quite a long one. It's actually one of our longer videos. And I really enjoyed it because you broke it down from multiple angles. Well, well, and so we are going to do that. And why right, do so I have two showings right here? Let me figure out what is going on here first. Okay, we're okay. It's fine. All right, let's lose in my mind. All right, so we're going to be looking at it. All right, let's get into it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Go over it. Yeah. You, I'm slowing down. You got to make some comedy here. You're the, the comedic I'm just, force. I'm just going to pull comedy just comedic right out force. of the air, huh? Yes. It's just, it's just, it's just, why don't, why don't you just, why, why don't you just pull comedy right out, right out from nowhere? Okay. You just, just pull it out your ass. Hey, last time I pulled a joke out of there, it smelled really bad. All right. Well, keep on with the comedy because I want to add uh, Chloe's Roma, Roma banner in first. Well, well no, I, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you something that's true. You're never going to find peace and peace. Uh, people don't understand, uh, ladies. Let me tell you what men want. Let me tell you what men want. Men want to come home and relax. <laughs> men want to come home and not talk like this for hours. You know, men want to come home and just they want peace. A, they want mental peace. Just have a little mental peace, mm -hmm. right? Just it's quiet. the third most important thing to a man is his mental sanity. Number one, look, you have to understand. You have to understand that a man's time is money. You don't know how much time you're going to have. You know, you can get bad news. Your time could be limited. Uh, nothing's guaranteed. Number two, right? Your money. Because your money has to propel stuff. And, like, you're looked at as well, you should be a performer. Number three is your mental peace and your sanity. So, I, I, I young geezer, 100% agree with you. If someone is crazy, you will never have peace. What you will have, why do I say never? Because I mean never. What you will have is a constant, complete headache constantly okay so let's roll the clip and um yeah all I'm right let's it. spin it actually i'm gonna not put the scrolling because this thing might be too much of a distraction we gotta change how we do things and i want to trust you and i feel like all the trust is no nope. like seeing the counselors not gonna just it's not gonna do it it's not alone and uh we gotta change how we do things, and I want to trust you, and I feel like all the trust is gone, all the fucking trust is gone in the relationship because you keep splitting. I know this is a serious video, but did anybody else's brain immediately jump to Johnny Depp doing the splits? Everybody else's did, right? Right. I'm not gonna be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night. You fucking. What about all the other times you split? It, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. I love how she just slides right past that. She just <laughs> let that one go whoop, right over her head. Could have gotten a haircut. Pretended she didn't even hear it. He's like, uh, Amber, I split from you because you start hitting me. Just like you did last week. Working a deep fake. Say what? Yeah. Squirrel! Oh my god, the weather looks so nice today. <laughs> By the way, I took the biggest shit this morning in the toilet, not in your bed. By the way, what about all the other times you split? Okay, Amber Heard, right on, I guess. I'm pretty sure we said we love an accountability queen, not a diversion queen, but whatever rocks your boat. So, well, so uh, like like the first thing, uh, just listening to that, what is she saying? Why is he leaving? So it sounds like, it sounds like what Johnny's doing is removing himself from the situation. So I say this 100% of the time. Uh, as a man, you cannot dictate how someone acts. You have to let folks know that if you don't act a certain way that I approve of, I will remove myself from the situation. And sooner or later, I'm going to remove myself permanently from the situation. It's just how it is. So I definitely I definitely understand what we're doing here. Definitely. Uh, I think that Depp is, is, I mean, he sounds really calm. I, I don't, look, I'm not saying he's, he's an angel. Okay, of course, like, he, you know, there's drug use. There's, I mean, that fool poured the biggest, glass of wine I've ever seen in my life mm. so hey when you, you gotta do that is. type of crazy though yeah like i i might be on one too right right you know and i'm yeah, pretty much true. a sober salad it's for true. now you know it's true so are, are we sending an invite to the top yes there? yes i am so to the, to the very top one so to the very top one what do you mean someone's active yeah yeah i already did okay cool. so Okay, were you gonna say something else no, no, otherwise let's, let's, i was let's, gonna let's keep, keep rolling. rolling the clip let's keep rolling the clip actually let me look at this real quick um oh so she did mention about the poop, and we're going to roll it back just a little bit because I want to, to play this other clip over here. And give me a second, guys. 
Doing and it. Jada, I'm going to be dropping you a StreamYard link. So give me one second. If I can find her. I can't find her. Well, just send it to me and I'll, I'll give it to her. Oh, just just, just drop it in a tip and I'll send it to her while you play the clip. Okay. Uh, well, can't do it that way. I'm send it to Grover. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm gonna go play this clip. Yep. Yeah. Right quick. Amber heard of pooping in the bed as a prank after Amber's 30th birthday party in 2016 when the two of them got into a fight. The housekeeper is the one that took the photos of the poop because she was so disgusted. Heard blamed it on the dog at the time, but according to the housekeeper, Hilda Vargas, it was clearly human feces. She was pointing to the bed and told me that she couldn't believe what she had found, referring to the other maid. I pulled back the top sheet on the bed and saw a large pile of feces. I was horrified and disgusted. It was clear to me that this was human feces. I knew that the feces could not have come from either of Mr. Depp or Mr. So the reason why I wanted to play that clip real quick is that I wanted to show that it was the maids that brought up this piece of evidence. They the were the they were the ones that uh, getting an echo. They were the ones that took the picture and submitted to the court. They were interviewed, and so there was this whole ongoing confrontation between Amber Heard and these maids. And the maids themselves, one of them, said that she was afraid of Amber Heard. So actually, I'm going to go up to three minutes here. And thank you for inform overload for this extra little information. All right. Mm -hmm. So this incident is when he knew his marriage to Amber was over. Johnny Depp also testified on the stand that Amber Heard confessed her guilt to his estate manager, Kevin Murphy. I understand that the following morning after the party, Miss Heard or possibly one of her friends defecated in our shared bed on the 12th of May. Just a few blades. For now, I'm going to wrap up this video with some oh. comments. I was in there, but it's all good. So yeah, I just want to show like the the craziness that was corroborated by outside witnesses that none of this it's it's not looking too good for Miss Amber Heard, even though I know she's doing her testimony today and it's her turn to refute a lot of these different charges. Right. Um, uh, man, uh, I want I want to uh, just let me read this comment right right here. Go ahead. By, by, uh, go ahead. Black Light Revelations in a healthy relationship, <laughs> you put the pad down to protect the bed in their relationship. She needs a diaper to protect the pad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rafa, I can't stand her for that. She destroyed herself with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Black black lights off the hook, off the hook, off the hook. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell, tell me, uh, everybody in the chat, do you put, put a one in the chat if you believe that the, the help was actually fearful of her? Uh, put a two in the chat if you believe the help is all cap. A number one in the chat if the help was actually fearful of Amber Heard. I literally... And we'll, we'll continue with the next clip. Just let me know what's going on. Grover. No sound. No, don't worry about it. But uh, people answer in the chat. What are they saying in the chat? Let's see. I, I, we're, we're just giving us some time. Let's do the next clip and then I'll, we'll get it off. Okay. All right. We're going to play the next clip. Mm -hmm. makeup and changing into sleep clothes, whatever. And uh, and this explains a little bit of Amber Heard's craziness. The bedroom <clears throat> while I was laying on my side of the bed, reading. And she was still rattling off all the- I'm gonna play at 1.5 speed. I'd, uh, Done to her yeah, yeah, Johnny John be hella dramatically talking I'm like this is not Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, what a, you know, what a horrible person I was. Um, and I and I did not, I did not engage. Scott, is she I'm worth it? You hear that? Is she worth a dump in a bed? Look at her. Look at the ice cat, <laughs> Scott. Well, yeah, Do you like it, Scott? Kind of dumping a load to her. I'll tell you that's what. Jesus you Christ. don't want to be mixing them genetics with this one. She came to my Jesus side. Christ. And uh, again, you know, you, you've got to, you've got a person who is... Uh, Throwing multiple shots at your at your face, at your head, at your neck, at your at anything she could. So he's like talking even metaphorically, like she's yeah. throwing shots at him, insults, actual physical objects like bottles. So like this is where I, I want to keep bringing a couple of these clips in because it's it's a crazy story. Like we find it really funny with the the pooping in the bed, but there is a lot that led up to this where you realize the pooping in bed was just it it, it wasn't exactly funny when you yeah, took it deeper yeah. into this kind of. No, I, I would hate to say it, but abuse. Oh, shout out, black skin in the house. Hey, folks. So uh, it was just it was just ones 
ones that they believe in. I, I want to touch on this, and I see something that's you know really, 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 really uh, true. The the boss's wife can always get you fired. Uh, so here's uh, let me get a uh, from uh, our member of the the tip. The tip, tip tube, the tip tube, the maids see almost everything. People who are involved with housekeeping tend to know a lot of secrets behind closed doors. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. We are going to read a lot of your comments. We really want to deep dive into this and we want to engage you. Sir. It's like, let's see. Hell yeah. The planner woman she had working for her, she said Amber spassed out on her multiple times. Probably was <laughs> shit and spit everywhere. Rob. <laughs> you, you know, Rob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're getting, Rob always coming in hot, man. He's got you're, loaded back. You're getting mad, <laughs> Spraying dude. it. Young geezer. Don't forget about Arnold Schwarzenegger made. She knew about everything, too. She Woo! got made, too. That yeah. kid looks like Arnold um, Schwarzenegger. That, like, that, yeah. That's like the second coming of Arnold like Schwarzenegger Arnold, right that there. Kid looks like, that kid looks like Arnold with, with a taco. <laughs> What's, <laughs> wrong with What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. Oh my God! And, 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 let's see, Amber Heard sitting there looking like a female super villain. Hey, oh, hey, Rob, Rob! If you see this woman's facial expressions throughout the whole yeah. testimony, one minute it's happy, one minute it's like looking in <laughs> disgust, sitting there looking like Evil Ed from He Man. Out of oh, this is the best. <laughs> Undefeated. Okay, let's keep rolling. All right, shots at your, at your. I I got up out of bed. I grabbed her by the shoulders, and I sat her down on the bed. <clears throat> Please don't get off the bed. Please don't follow me. Please don't try and stop me. And this man is leaving. actively trying to get away from her, too. Yeah, actively trying to get away from her. Bro. Off the bed. Like, what and do you do? Squared off at me in the doorway of our bedroom. Right on, said, what do you, what do you want to do? Hit me again? Would you like to hit me again? Here, listen to that. Would you like to hit me Go again? Ahead. Hit me. Bam. Boom. And then I just said, is that, is that what you wanted? Would you like another? <laughs> and he offers it. Turn the other cheek. There's the second one. <laughs> She's a face. Horrible. Horrible. Grabbed her by the shoulders, walked her to the bed, sat her down, and said, don't follow me. Leave me alone. I'm out. I'm gone. I went, I grabbed a few things, and I got out immediately, and I went to um, my other house. So this so man is actively trying to get away from the concert. Go move to the other room. Pause it right quick. Okay. I just want to talk about rich people's problems here. Okay. Let's, let's, so, let's, let's said, hear. so check it out. He said, she hit me. Did she hit me again? I said, I said, are you happy? Mm -hmm. I said, don't follow me. And then I left and I went to my other house. You rich motherfucker. <laughs> you went to your other house. Man, here's the thing. Like, I'm I'm honestly going to say that there's people, who, both sexes, people do bad things. People do bad things, both sexes, people get abused. Very rarely can someone go to their other house. So we also have to understand that there's a level of privilege here and there's a level of, of prestige here, right? We haven't even talked about the financial impact. We're just talking about just the obviously craziness that's going on here. But I just wanted to point that out. I also want to give a shout out to all 10 folks that we have in the chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you have not always, let's get them likes up. If you have not hit the like button, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the tip network. It would do us a great service yes, because please. it'll help us push us against the algorithm, put our message out there, show these videos to more people. Yes. So we keep on growing the channel. Yeah. And so we can help promote other content creators. All right. And uh so. and, and uh Black Life, please uh drop your channel and in the uh please yes, your yes. Channel. promote your channel all you want, Black yeah. Life. Yeah, I mean I mean you got a green light here. I mean that's why you got a ranch, bro. Uh also blacks akin, please support this man's channel. He has some very valuable travel information. This man lives teach lives in Taiwan. Is married, teaches. Uh, I I, I want to say teaches English, but I don't believe he teaches elementary English. I think he teaches at a more advanced level. I could be wrong. You can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, sir. But I just want to say that absolutely great uh, great streams. I'm um, excuse me, great video content. The man's working hard, and uh, you know he's he's a part of the polite savages. He just hasn't joined up yet, but I'm sure he will be joining. But uh, I mean, just really, really want to uh, support support our family, our fans who come in. Let's go. Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's you got a couple ahead. more? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Let's all, right, all right. So we're going to actually hear the audio recording between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard to help amplify what he's uh, disclosing with his story 
on how she was following him around and hitting him. I mean, it didn't, doesn't help that he's like offering it up too, but mm -hmm. you know, anyway. Just, just hit me. Just hit me. Just hit me. Just hit me. Usually after that, <laughs> you would think there's some kind of like, like, like some rough, you know, sexual activities that would happen after that. No, no, she's that crazy where none of that is happening. Not condoning any of that anyway. <laughs> what kind of shit are you into? <laughs> okay, hold on, Kimmy. All right, we're back to this. Jesus Christ, we're gonna we're gonna get some of Scott's exes on here one day. We're gonna have no. all. <laughs> That's horrible. Scott's gonna be like, he just got in a fist fight, Benny. It was so great. <laughs> he just wanted me to hit him. Okay, okay. Then he hit it. No, <laughs> like, let's go. <laughs> okay, stop. I was gonna say something bad. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. It's just to get out of a bad situation while it's happening before it gets worse. In Australia, when we had the big fight where I lost the tip of my finger, you guys might have to at least turn up the volume. Five bathrooms and two bedrooms I went to. Two, two. To avoid talking to me. To, to avoid escape working the, out. That's to the escape problem. the fight. And here's you he talking to the Amber Heard. You escape the solution. No. You escape the solution. No. You escape figuring it out we cannot work it out if you run away to the bathroom every time listen to me listen to me a boxer can't go 12 rounds without a fucking minute break i'm not not giving you a minute break you do it at minute you three at the beginning of an argument no. mm -hmm. there are so what do you think about that like he's literally trying to escape from her yeah and she's there and i said well i could say i've been in like situations like this not like this obviously but like minor little situations like this where it's saying we need to have this talk right near we need to come to a solution but the solution is always with johnny depp in this situation getting hit mm -hmm. getting attacked insulted and black lambasted so what can a man do in that situation well i mean in, in that situation you have to separate yourself you have to leave because listen man we know the law is not going to be on our side i mean we've seen what happened to johnny depp right yeah so we know the law is not going to be on our side it's not like we're going to say hey i'm a big dude i'm six foot one i'm, I'm 300 pounds and i work out and this lady used to hit me and uh you know i, I was just they're going to be like no 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 so i mean you have to leave uh, uh shout out poppy blanco tv in the house Poppy Blanco TV in the house. How are you doing, sir? Shout out to you. You know, I didn't speed that up at 1.5 speed, so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So let's go back let's to go. listening to this. Let's run it some more. Rounds, man. And when it gets too fucking hairy, the rest of it's too hard or whatever. But I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is you, you, you can't have a solution if the argument just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. I fucking go to the, into the bathroom and sit on the floor. Bam, 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 here you come. I come out. It's constant five, harassment. Five, five, crazy, escalated. I go split again. I go to another fucking bathroom or bedroom or something. Knock, knock, knock. Bang, bang, bang. You kept coming to get me. So, yeah, right. So the thing is, is that she, she's admitting to him that she kept going yeah. after him, right? Yep. So I mean, yeah, he was trying to escape her from yeah, room yeah. to room to room. Yeah. So, right. right. So, so, so I, I, I definitely, I definitely understand that. Like, you know, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I just. I, I'm just curious, folks. Do you, you know, uh, shout out to Idaiya says he was doing the right thing to remove himself from the drama. Chat, do you think he was doing the right thing trying to leave the drama in the number one? Or do you think he should have stood there and tried to reason with, with her? Uh, so put a number one in the chat if you think he did the right thing by removing himself from the drama. Put a number two in the chat if you think that uh, he should have removed himself. I'm serious. If he should have stayed and tried to work it out. Uh, great job, Groover. Number one, <laughs> if you think he should have left. Number two, if he should have worked it out. Jesus. Go over, get yourself together, man. Trying my hardest here. That's what happens to you off of alcohol. I, I know. I haven't, I haven't drank for almost a month. Yeah, yeah, good for your health. It's better yeah. for your health. It's almost a month. Yeah, yeah. Get more rejuvenated. Yeah, the wife likes it. Yep. All right, so I'm going to keep playing this clip, and this is, I think, where the portion of the audio where mm -hmm. the infamous, I did not punch you, I was hitting you line. Yeah. All right. I said to Travis, I said, no, I said to you, hey, tell Travis what just happened. You well, you told me to do it. You told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, you tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the right. thing. You, you figured it out. Face. And you said, <laughs> straight up. He knew. I, didn't punch, I didn't punch you, by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was kidding you. I was not punching you. Babe, you're not. I didn't hit you across his face with a proper slap. 
So what is a proper slap in this situation? <laughs> like, like, is there a proper slap to where it's not really punching or really hitting? It's more out of affection, but you're angry. Like, it, it, make it make sense. Make yeah. it make sense. Uh, look, look, the, everybody in the chat's doing up number ones. Hey, chat, uh, can, can, can anybody in the chat just put in what a proper slap is? Uh, uh, or, or are there different levels of the slap? I don't know. Like somebody slap me, I I get mad, bro. I don't. All right, so let's say this: was it a proper slap, like a Will Smith slapping the hell out of Chris Rock in front of people, embarrassing him, or was it kind of like a, or or, or was it kind of like a little playful slap, like you do when you're uh in the thralls of ecstasy? I don't know. And somebody explain to me what a proper slap is. Right about now, we. Can. And Chloe Roma, you're right. Right, right about now would be a good time to finally talk about toxic femininity because we always hear about toxic masculinity, but we don't hear enough about toxic femininity. Yeah. So yeah, I, you know what? And shout out to shout out to Young Geezer. Uh, young Geezer coming in with a lot of facts, really active in the chat. The only thing to make a man stay would be kids. I don't understand his reasoning or lack thereof. Absolutely, absolutely. Barry Holyoke, uh, it's a creepy ass comment. A good, a good slap is nice and fine. All right, Barry, we don't know what slap you're talking about. Well, good, uh, good. You got the super slapped in and you got the pimp backhand smack. Poppy Bronco talking about the pimp backhand slap. I bet Amber slapped the shit out of him. She probably licked her hand first, <laughs> evil ass. <laughs> Black light revelations. So, Did it slap him as bad as this dude? Uh, I know, I know. Uh, uh, let's put it there. Hey, man, hold on, hold on. Let me. What's, it, what's, this, what's that guy's name? Isaiah Lee. You know what his name should be? For what? Right here. That's what his name should uh, be. Uh, Elbowly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it's a symbol, right? But it's like <laughs> a permanent symbol. He broke. Okay, so not only did he I'm break. I'm evil as hell. He actually broke both of his hands, too. Oh, so really? not only a dislocation, but broke both. And hands. you know, and every time I looked at it, he did that. He yeah. did that. Uh, he, he did. He did that. Uh, he did that to himself, by the way. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. All right. Let's so see. let's go back to. Um, let's see. You still got more. That slap feels like a punch. I've got man hands. True. Let's see. Let's go one more thing. Uh, they say crazy women have the wet wet. We all know Johnny stayed. Some FFs get lost in it. I think that's about what he was. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say this. I think Johnny's about 20 years older than her. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let I me do my young Jane right I think there. he's about 20 years older than her, and here's the situation, right? Johnny Depp, his whole life was the man. He was in the Outsiders. He was a just a young, good-looking dude in the Outsiders. Everyone, I, re I remember when I was young, and they'd be like, oh, my God, did they get the Outsiders? And I was like, oh, if you don't shut up. With 21 Jump Street, he was the man. I remember, like, my sister used to like him. Oh, I don't know. I, my sister used to like, she said, I like him and, 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 and a Chinese guy. And I was like, he's actually Vietnamese. Shout oh, yeah, yeah. Shout uh, out, uh, what was his name? His last name was Nguyen. Yeah, yeah. No, why? Because that's the Smith of the Vietnamese world. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> Scott goes, I hate you. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's true. I so mean. Johnny's 58, Amber's 36. Yeah. And so, like, like he he was in this situation where he was more. He was he was, wow! You just got it right there, huh? That's how we doing it. Wow! Just look at look at him. Just the pair side by side. That's that's pretty good, Scott. Yeah, you know. I try. So let's I give try. it up for I Scott try. in the chat. I try. But like, he was in this situation where he was with a a woman who was far too young for him. He's not. The good looking guy anymore. You know, you got you know, look, like look, 29, 20 look at under there. You got Leo, you got Leo, uh, you got Leo uh, lurking around. The man that dates where his girlfriend's never his aged. girlfriend's never aged, like she's she's a little, and confused. Yeah, she's a little, little too old. <laughs> Barry, they Barry corrected me, say he wasn't in the outsider. Thank you, Barry. Uh hey Barry, put in the chat what movies was he in that he had his hair grease back then. Uh you know, but you like you got you got young Leo. You got a Barry. You got Brad Pitt being the same age. You know, she might want to trade horizontally for Brad if she can't get Leo. You know, she was with uh, she she was also connected to Elon Musk, so she's been around people with a lot more money. You know, uh, she's also, she's oh, that, also that's that's true. Let me let me find. Yeah, she's been around with Elon, so people with a lot more money. Uh, she was with uh, I mean, she's been with some actors. Actually, they're uh, going to be um, bringing Elon Musk to testify or trying to, and he seems to have been getting himself caught in the mix where she, I guess she decided to tell everybody that she was having an affair with Elon Musk and having a threesome with Cara, Cara Delevingne, mm. uh, the girl from uh, I, I Suicide just, Squad. Yeah. 
So yeah. I, I just don't understand why everybody has to. Uh, like she's trying to hurt him. Yeah, I just don't. I just is. don't understand how everybody has to put all of their business on the street. I was with Elon Musk in a threesome and this and that. If you had a threesome, just shut up and have a threesome and quiet. Jesus Christ, telling everybody else. Oh, so let's see. And oh, he was in the first nightmare on Elm Street, young Easy. Yes, look at that man. We're 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 uh, getting a, we're getting a lot. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, so I want to show you that picture of Elon Musk and. And yeah, well, can find it well, here. well, like, so I mean, what we're saying is that well, my point is is that Johnny Depp probably felt JD probably felt like he was a little um, a, a little over his head, and he was trying to make it work. And look, it wasn't like they were married for ten years; they were married for like fifteen months. And I think it settled it was like fourteen million dollars or something. Mm. All right, and apparently, like uh, from Chloe Roma, she said that he was she was trying to freeze her embryos. And get pregnant by Elon Musk, but then uh, Amber Heard finally did have a baby, and she did have a what's it called a um, surrogate mother. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Fun fact, by the way, fun fact. Uh, look All at right. Poppy Blocko. Elon Musk is a stone cold player. Yes, yeah, well, uh, he needed a stone cold peas to be uh, bringing that bruise down right there. Yeah, yeah. His face. A, they might have liked it rough though. Okay, let's see. And yeah, what we got? What we got from the black skin? Molly Wapto hit extremely hard and opened her closed fist. Verb. Okay. Uh, and let's see. All right. Depp is also crazy, but she was on another level. And yes, I I, I want to say this too. I do not want to absolve Johnny Depp of crazy re, crazy action. But here's the deal. Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp's crazy. If she would have came out and said they were both crazy, they had a tumultuous relationship and left it, he would have. There would have been another Pirates of the Caribbean for mm -hmm. him. I mean, that was like forty-five, fifty million dollars gone. And this is my problem. You take fifty million dollars from somebody, you know, claiming claiming domestic abuse, and then it comes out that it's a two way street. There's a problem. There's a problem. And then you pooped in his bed. You can't poop in a bed. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So. All right. So we're going to keep playing with the clip here to finish off the damning. Evidence with Amber Heard. Punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You know, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. No, no. Yeah, no, I you fucking have a close You didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Wow. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, Tommy. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes. This sounds to me like teenage love. It sounds like uh, I can't diagnose nothing, but I'm speculating some narcissistic behaviors, manipulative <laughs> tactics, gaslighting. And it's crazy that he was able to put up with her for this long. But then again, he should have hit that bitch. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. I'm but, sorry, it just, it just popped out of me. <laughs> so he, he couldn't do anything because we will get to that you piece right of thing, information thing. later on. Yeah. All, all right, right, all right, chat. Well, here we go. I agree. If you think Johnny should have hit her back, put a number one. After she was saying she hit him, she hit him. She didn't punch him, she hit him. Do you think Johnny should have hit her back? Shout out to think, Donovan Britt or do you out think, there in Vegas. Or do you think Johnny should have just been like he was doing? So uh, we got Barry. If you're getting accused of abuse, you might as well hit her. <laughs> oh my! Toxic God. masculinity. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Toxic. So horrible. What, are you, what are we thinking of, chat? We suggest you, you not doing that. <laughs> but, <laughs> what are we thinking of, chat? You think, look, man, I'm gonna tell you something. If you're just hitting me over and over again, I'm probably gonna have to do something to you to stop you from hitting me. If you're not gonna let me leave, and I'm trying to leave, and let me tell you something, it doesn't make a difference how much bigger you are than the person. If someone can physically. If they are crazy enough, they could physically block your path. Will you stop touching my hand? That's so weird. Just let me know, other kids. Don't touch me. <laughs> if, if you're physically, if you're physically, like in somebody's way, if you're not letting somebody, if if you're, if you're not letting somebody leave, it gets very dangerous. And you can't expect people to be saints. Now, listen. If you're hitting me and you're blocking my way, and I'm trying to leave, at one point. When does it become dangerous for my health, no matter how big you are, right? When does it become dangerous for my health? And we know it became dangerous for Johnny's health because guess what? 
we can call Johnny nine and a half. Nine and a half. We could call him nine and a half. What do you mean he could be nine and a half? What does that mean? I means that he's missing part of his finger because she threw a bottle and that's, his that's finger right. got severed. That is right. So this is what I'm saying. I, I, I'm, I'm telling people, I'm telling people I, honestly that at one point, at one point, you have to start protecting yourself no matter who the person is. I'm not telling people to go out and be aggressive and hit her. I'm telling people that if, and, and look, I got Coach Keith here saying, don't hit her. California, the dominant aggressor goes to jail, not the primary aggressor. But I would ask you, put up, put up that picture again. Put up that oh, picture again, uh, of the finger. So does this? So 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 if hitting her after this, does that mean that you were not the dom- not the? Uh, is that more dominant aggressor losing your finger and having that type of hit? Well, we have more information for this particular event. I actually have it bookmarked right here. Yeah, and but then I- we can like go into deeper we're not lawyers we're not attorneys we're mm-hmm. not litigators that's tla shout out to the tla to lead attorney yeah uh, he's done a great but, live streams on this but, but but he's not your attorney he's the <laughs> lead, lead attorney. attorney but uh uh here we go here we go just a couple of more uh things amber heard thought she was a colombian drug lord queen griselda blanco uh let's see and uh, let's see in california he's saying don't hit her anyway okay i'm in california too i understand Sorry, maybe I was just a little upset. Hey, shouts out Trent Wilson. Hi, Scotty and Grover. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us today. Uh, let's see. At Barry Holyoke. Man, I'm glad you said it out loud, Barry. Uh, Poppy and Barry. Uh, two savages in the stream. I'll say, oh, I've got started. Bromance hunt. No, we're not holding hands anywhere. This is a bump. Okay, so what do you think of this, Grover? Because I, I know you and, have something. And, and Coach, uh, and Coach Keith, shout out to you, Coach Keith. By the way, you know, thank you, thank you for going back and forth and and adding to adding to the the quality and add, adding value. She definitely, she's definitely the dominant aggressor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree. Let's go. Okay. So right here from Donovan Britt, Amber's her face is the most beautiful in the world, according to scientists. And I will have to concur. We've already talked about what I think her face rating is. But then, of course, Grover needs to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I did that. Oh he needs to, you got to put the reminder on there, right? So, 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 so zoom out again, dude. <laughs> my question is, like, she literally had to, like, get up on all fours and really put some thought into it. Just, like, uh, pop the squat. Are you squatting? Are you, uh, yeah, I'm kind of squatting. I got to make maybe sure. Maybe she has to, maybe she, maybe she learned to Asian squat somewhere where she was. She's probably, yeah, when she's traveling to Asia. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> on one of her movies. Okay, so uh, I want to give a shout out to Jonathan Britt. Hey, Jonathan hey, Britt was on our, uh, was on our, uh, one, one of our streams. He was a guest. Whose stream was it? Um, that was the Leah Thomas. Leah edition. Thomas stream. Yeah. Jonathan Britton. Yeah, because he's a he's a uh, professional MMA coach, um, and you know, just somebody somebody I've, I've actually you know been connected with him for years uh, through through martial arts. Oh, it's great to great to bring that part of my life over into the stream too to have a okay. martial arts friend. So here, let me share some information with from Johnny Depp himself explaining what led up to her pooping in his bed. Go. Cool. Um. I had received some news that was as absurd and grotesque and cruel. Um, uh, she's in Coachella. She's at Coachella. I think it's a good time to go downtown so that I can get some of my things, you know, and uh, get them out of there, especially the things that were. She went to Coachella you know, music event? To make, you know, mm-hmm. Children things, things from friends, Brando, Hunter, Thompson, whatever, things that were important. Don't think now's a good time to go. And I thought it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two days. And then he showed me a photograph on his telephone of a. Objection, Your Honor. It's a photograph, Your Honor. As being related to him by Mr. Depp. He says he. It's a photograph of Mr. Depp. It was a. It was a. It was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed um, was human fecal matter. Um, so I understood why. So actually, I kind of messed up there, but it, it goes along with the clip. It is here, here. Um, dun, 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 dun. So uh, I got, yeah, it, I, got yeah. it, I got, it, I got, it, I got. It. But the way Johnny said it was so, uh, so matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. He's like, and uh, it was human fecal matter. Took place in March. 
All right, over here, 435. So what is revealed here is that Johnny Depp did not have a prenuptial agreement with Amber Heard. Oh, um, well, now you know why he didn't leave. Ms. Heard was upset because, uh, uh, as I stated earlier, as it was too late for a prenup agreement, there, there was a discussion of post-nup agreement. Post-nup agreement. I had mm -hmm. called my lawyer at the time and asked him if, if he could have one of his uh, one of his lawyers sit down with Ms. Heard and, and give her a, a basic rundown of what a post-nuptial agreement uh, meant. So at this point, he wanted Amber Heard to sign a mm -hmm. pre post-nuptial agreement. Right. So retroactively bringing a prenuptial into post-nuptial. So, 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 check, so check it out. What is a prenuptial agreement? A prenuptial agreement is an agreement that you make with uh, an agreement that you make with your uh, with your spouse uh, about finances. Basically, it's a contract of how before you get married, how your how your marriage if dissolved, how it's going to look. Right? Uh, you break up like uh, appreciating, not appreciating, depreciating assets, money, bank accounts, everything like that. How now? What is a postnuptial? A postnuptial is just post marriage, the same thing. Oh, shout out to young geezer, twenty dollars super chat. <laughs> you just saw that. <laughs> shout out to you, young geezer. Shout out, man! Thank you so much for supporting us. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It helps yeah. out a lot. Yeah, we, we, um, don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't get a lot of super chats. And uh, whenever somebody, I mean, thank you so much. Whenever somebody supports us, it it really makes us. It means a lot. Yeah, it really it does means mean a lot. lot. Uh, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you not as much as we appreciate you, sir. Yes. Not as much as we appreciate. Yes. Yes. You. yes. Uh, so what else were you going to say about that? But I was just saying, so it's so a post nuptial agreements work just as well as a prenuptial agreement. But here is the ticket. You have no leverage over the person to sign it because you're already married. Uh, let's go. Let's give a shout out to Idaya's Row House because she says something very important here. If you have to clean it, it's disgusting. But these these people do not clean their mess. Mm hmm. Literally, yeah. literally, exactly. They, they have the maids, exactly. the poor maids and cleaning you know up the mess. And you know what? That's, that's one thing up. that that's one thing that even the maids they sent Johnny the picture, so she like pooped the bed and left. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and this is a it has. I can tell you, Latina. So let's be honest. When was the last time you shit on your man's bed? Oh no. <laughs> I, I would I would reckon to say that uh, nobody in this chat uh, would be that way. Uh, let's see. Uh, he rubbed her nose in it, Coach. Ooh, ooh. Uh, here's where I would donate if you guys hold hands. Uh, well, Barry, you're just not gonna donate. <laughs> you jerk. You jerk. All right, guys. So uh, let's 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 do this here. Let's do this. Let me know if you want us to keep going in on the, the the shitty details, or do you want us to move on? Put a number one if you want us to keep going in on the details. Put a number two if you want us to move on with the next clip. We'll give you about ten seconds. Well, I was about to go to the next one. Of, anyway. of Jeopardy music. Okay, I just wish you wouldn't believe that. I'll give you ten uh -oh. seconds of Jeopardy music, and we'll let you know. <laughs> Just ignore me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ignore jackass. Me. <laughs> thanks, thanks for working with us on here. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next clip. Thank all right, you. all right. Yeah. So actually, we're, we aren't going to the next clip because I hear I have here in my notes. Yeah. That's when it starts getting uh, uh, crazy. crazy. All right, let's, crazy. let's see. So, so, so we're going to crazy town here. Rude and dismissive. And all she was being shown was a uh, an example of a post-nuptial agreement. Ms. Heard then stated to me that she was very upset. She stated to me that um, that she, she what she had said, what she said to the lawyer, the woman. Is that shocking that she's upset? John Camp, he must not be, he doesn't know. She's been upset about everything. Why would she not be upset about that? No way he would agree to this. Um, and what Ms. Heard then expressed to me was that the lawyer, the woman, had laughed at her and said, oh, he knows. Yes, he knows everything. Um, which sent her into a... a so yeah, um, that is about it. Let me see what else I got here. John through allegedly to rest, not your will, chase nine rooms. All right, so uh, let's Psyche, um, I mean, so much to change wills or anything of that nature. And at a certain point, you don't know what to do. I mean, it's, it's, the person is telling you, she's telling you, you don't trust me, you don't trust me, you don't trust me. And um, I, I can't speak 
about legal documents. I can't speak legalese. I can't explain to her. So all I could do was try to calm her down and say that I was not out to screw her over or, or, or put her in a position that was uh, was uncomfortable. All right. So how, how many times have you heard this, though, when a man tries to talk about prenuptials or postnuptials, and it's always, you don't trust me, you don't trust me, you don't trust me. But what women don't understand is that if you talk about this and it becomes a you don't trust me thing, it makes men not trust you. <laughs> so like if you was just like, if you, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So if, if, you, if, you were, if you were just sitting there and being like, listen, <laughs> if if you were if you were just there, you were like, listen, that doesn't work. It does yeah. not work. Calm down. Tell her to never, breathe. Never Tell her to worked, breathe. Never worked it against you. <laughs> but listen, if you said, hey folks, hey lady, I I, I, I want to sign this prenuptial agreement. I'll make sure that we're very, 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 very uh very fair for us. We can negotiate it. You'll have your own lawyer, I'll have my own lawyer, they'll negotiate, we'll do it. And she said, Okay, that's fine. You would feel so much better, but if you're sitting there with a prenuptial agreement and it's fire and brimstone, I tell men don't get married. Just don't get married if that's going to be the point. I mean, if you want something and it's important to you, and you're trying to be business minded, and you're gonna, I mean, and she's gonna have her own attorney, you're gonna have your attorney, you're gonna make sure. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. I just want to share this from Jada's perspective. She sent me this. <laughs> This is actually, uh, let me give you some commentary on that real quick. I want to bring it up. <laughs> what do you think about this? A little collection jar from Star. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't say, I can't. From from a, a coffee place. Yeah. A little collection jar for Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. I guess it's uh, Team Amber or mm -hmm. Team Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> and he's at least getting some kind of coins, right? Maybe they yeah. just started the yeah. dish. <laughs> yeah, real, uh, look, but you know what's really sad, though? Look at Amber Heard. Look at Amber Heard. There's a penny in there. There's a penny. There's a penny. Look it's probably one of those her. dirty it's pennies. Just one penny too. It's just dirty. It's like, it's like the penny right from the street. It's like a, uh, it's a penny that like your dog threw up. It's a petty penny. <laughs> it's a petty penny. Petty uh, penny. All right. It's just right, right. petty. So, uh, so like, man, it's what's up? So here's the young dude. If they are serious and don't think about leaving, they wouldn't need it. Women are quick to threaten to leave to get their way. Facts, facts. I've seen it before. Here we go. Shout out to the Tip Network. Just step up by to show some love and hit the like button to help that. I'll go. Sean Simpson, respect, respect. And of course, Team Amber should be a toilet, <laughs> a pooping toilet. You're ah, uh, black, you know, black. black. You're, single ply, single ply, single Scott ply. tissue. Scott, <laughs> single Scott ply. tissue. Let's see. If and if you marry her, you you'd be stupid for not getting a prenup. Bring it up early in a dating process. Absolutely, absolutely. Bring it up early in a dating relationship. Yes, coach. All right, Coach Keith is out here coaching. So All let's right. see what else we can get from this clip. These were stock, normal things to do. It did not work. No, it escalated and escalated and it turned into uh, madness, chaos, can you please, violence. Can you please describe that chaos and violence? Yes, she, she she was irate. She, she she was irate and she was possessed. Uh, possessed, possessed. I, I, myself as I, that he wanted to do a post nuptial. And that was just that you know she's hammering me with with uh, sort of brutal brutal words and and uh, you know a bit of a labyrinth, you know, a lot of rooms, a lot of extra rooms. Spirit had in fact done that, and I did call my lawyer uh, at the time, Jake Bloom, and I uh, I locked myself into and. All right, so I maybe I can find the clip later on, but we'll just go over here real quick. We um, say, uh, what ended up happening with the, the whole clip with the uh, her throwing the bottle at him? He sat down at the bar. Yep. Right. He took a drink. She was irate. She was still coming at him, insulting him, hitting him, mm -hmm. whatever. Right. And he's just relaxed, grabs the first bottle and throws it right by his head. He dodges the bottle. And he goes and he grabs another bottle. Then he starts to pour another drink. This bottle happens to be much bigger. And with this much bigger bottle, she was really, really upset. And so she grabbed that bottle. And then once again, she threw it at his head. When that happened is when he severed his finger. And so from what it from what he described it, because you know, it kind of talks a little slow, so I'm going to speed it up a little here, is that he felt a warm sensation where his hand was, 
once he looked at his finger and saw that it was messed up, then he started to do, um, he started to write on the walls. So at first, all right, Grover, tell me what was your first initial reaction with him writing uh, all this on the walls? You done lost your finger. Go to the hospital. Yeah. Go, go, go. You know what my initial reaction was? This man is crazy. Like, I'm not here saying that Johnny Depp is not crazy on drugs drinking. What I'm saying is that he's just not the only bad person here, and he ain't pooped in no one's bed. Mm. But, I mean, if I see something like that, I'd be like, oh, my goodness. All right. So the more I looked into the case, what I found out is this man has been driven up to the wall. This is his cry for help. And in that particular video, uh, I couldn't find the timestamp. He said that he had a nervous breakdown or what he felt was a nervous breakdown. This man can't do anything. He can't strike her. And through the only way that he can be aggressive is to remind himself why he should not be with her. So in some of his notes here is his convoluted thoughts while he was inebriated and basically was reminding himself why he should not be with this crazy. By the way, let's, let's keep it real. That's, 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 that's more than just alcohol in that. <laughs> well, what do you think? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to say there's some alcohol. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sprinkle sprinkles with cocaine and <laughs> maybe some opiates in there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sprinkle sprinkle with some opiates. That's what so, I'm yeah, he does admit to that. He had, did use a little bit of opiates yeah. and use other things as well. And then right here, I'm not sure if this is, is Amber Heard's writing or not. Call Carly Simon. She said it better, babe. I don't know. It's all crazy. Yeah. This whole love affair, it reminds me of that Eminem song. Um, what's that song? With Rihanna. Mm, I love the way you lie. I love the way you lie. Like, it, it's absolutely a nuts that these two people were together. And I'm do, going do, to, to guess that her motivation is to get his status, his star power, his influence, and eventually his assets. To hey, hey. Money, looks, and status. Shout out to self-made. Uh, you know, uh, let, let me read a couple of his chat. His chat still right here. Uh, we got we got one from uh, self-made saying that it's a sex magic ritual. <laughs> sex magic ritual. Uh, pretty much, unless people are still going, okay, Amber is the only victim. We can never underestimate people's stupidity. Uh, from 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 the tip to number one member. Uh, uh, young Heater, facts are out. Johnny will be going strong in two years. My prediction, Amber, who? She's a nobody compared to him. What I did hear is that uh, she's having a lot of her scenes cut from Aquaman after this. Which, is she? Uh, yeah. I thought she was still... Um, she's in it, but she's in, having in. her scenes cut from Aquaman. So she's having some scenes cut. Oh, yeah. Flashing on a picture. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Uh, uh, Astute Trends, Shifty. What's up? Yo, and uh, Jada's perspective, definitely more than just alcohol. True. Come on now. Come on now. You know they do. It's Hollywood. They got some of that nose candy. Uh, Stu Trans. Yeah, right near the border too, right? So Johnny Depp got, got great with no lube. Woo! And let's see. Uh Use cuddle with the use cuddle with a struggle. Self made. Barry Holyoke says, uh, in the comics, Mara went crazy. They should use that for the Aquaman movie. Barry, comic geek. We gotta love it. Things where she's <laughs> things where she shitted on Aquaman's bed. <laughs> struggle snug, struggle snuggle. Okay. All right, the, the the chat is lively today. Let's get it. Let's go to the next clip. Next clip. Yes. Uh, all right. Give me a second here. So, let's see what what we've got to say. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I don't want to mute. Just realized it. Oh, <laughs> they're like... Yeah, yeah. At the very beginning of fight... Jeez. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved. And that you do it and meet, like, at the very beginning of fights these days. 
you know, obviously I have no way of knowing for sure if Johnny Depp has ever hit her back, but I'm pretty confident in his words when he says that he has never abused any woman, anybody but himself. Uh, so what I would be willing to bet happened is she hit him. He either pushed her to get her off of him or maybe like tried to defend himself. And as these type of women love to do, as soon as you defend yourself, you're the abuser. Don't do that. Oh, it's coming right for your face. You don't have to do that. Ah! Did you just stick your hand up at me? I'm a victim! If you split and you go into- And so the reason why I want to play that clip is that Amber Heard is using the tactic that she is the victim that she's using. She's egging Johnny Depp on to hit her. And it goes how deranged this whole situation is. Yeah. And I think every guy should be following this case. I mean, it's kind of more of a, uh, uh, the females like this topic a lot better. But what I really like about this is that you can learn a lot of lessons from this, that if you are in a relationship with a very hot girl and she starts to display some of these warning red flags, that maybe you should start heeding them and end that relationship quickly. In fact, that you should have your prenuptial to begin with. Whoa. Set that up and present to her and see how she's going to react mm -hmm. and she reacts negatively and she reacts with violence i think we can call it call it quits at that point well, well i mean look any, any any like we tell women all the time we tell women all the time if a man reacts violently leave right if he hits you leave well men but when i hit you leave i'm not going to be in, in a situation where look i'm not raising my hand to my woman I mean, I, I've been upset before, you know, nobody has a perfect relationship, but I'm not like, oh, you know, woman, no, that's stupid. All right, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to be logical and we're going to work out the issue, right? Yeah. Same thing with a woman. If she's raising her hand to you, fellas, leave because, fellas, you are not going to win. <laughs> you know, you're going to be in a situation where, like, like nobody believed Johnny Depp for all of this time. He had to go to a defamation trial. You know, he had to go to a defamation trial, uh, trial to even get these facts out to the public where the public can so actually digest So for the past it. week, it seems like. So here we go. I bet Amber. So speaking of which. Hold on. Uh, right here. I bet Amber Poom Poom is a soul taker to the point Johnny <laughs> can't get away. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys, what do you guys think? Demon time. You think you think she got. I got her soul demon time. You think she got. Hey, Poppy. So hey, everybody in the chat, you think she got that. You think you think it's something special there, or uh, or do you think it's just regular? I don't know. I, I think uh, she might, you know. Uh, I mean, I mean, this man over here was giving her a twenty-five on a Patrice O'Neill scale, so he thinks she's in the top echelon of ladies. I, I think she's a you know twenty-one, but you know, I'm a little tainted because of poop in the bed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, self made says, "Good, thanks uh, for being in the Discord and dropping your code and and letting." I'm going to invite you to another one and do the same. No, Poppy Blanco, so that has nothing to do with right. us. All right, so let's go into what Jamari's got to say. Shout out to Jamari. Jamari, great content creator. Always a great content creator. Great content creator. And so this leads into exactly what you said about one's personal image, and especially if you have star caliber like Johnny Depp, yeah. your image means everything because your image is him being a superstar actor. He gets superstar roles, big right. blockbusters. And so this whole case really messed him up together for those of you that don't know in this situation johnny depp is suing amber heard for defamation because obviously her coming forward with these allegations of abuse has seriously damaged his career and his reputation forever he's testified recently saying that no matter what the verdict is in this court case his career will never be the same yep, yep, yep. and this whole situation has forever altered him as a person to me it so right, what so, do you think the um I, I mean how you respond to Jamal facts, right there? Facts. I mean, look, this is the deal. I got a Bill Burke clip that I sent you. I don't know if you had it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you up. have it. I sent it to you, I'll but it, it, it goes really good with this. So bring it up now. Yeah, bring it up right now because it actually answers this immediately. And I I will do a little talking, but here's the bottom line. It really if, seems if like you're if you're in a situation where like imagine being accused of something and no one ever believed it. Just imagine um, it. Just imagine it. But there are some things. I think I got a timestamp there. Where you yeah, beginning. You said right. Beginning right. one fifty. So right. I just want you to listen to this, and this is what I think about this. All right. So yeah. we're gonna play a little Bill Burr here. Yeah, it was actually his comedy show. Great comedy show. 
Um, uh, no, Bill Burr, Bill Burr guy's one of the a top, legend. Top, top five comedians, top five living comedians right now. Um, Doug Stanhope put something up. He wrote something. He's friends with uh, Johnny Depp, and he's going through this brutal fucking divorce. And uh, I just want to give him props for sticking up for his friend and everything and saying something because, you know, you know what's really so fucked up? All right. It's f- all the shit that happens to women that guys do to women is fucked up. But there has been a slight overcorrection now where if somebody, a woman just says you do something before you're ever tried or convicted, it just gets put in the paper. It gets put all over the internet. And then all you fucking morons, or 90% of you on the fucking internet, just take it as truth. Take it as fun. All right, we're going to stop there right there for, and then we'll play with the rest of the clip. We're going to stop but... there for a second. So, and, and that was the thing, like, what we we're saying is like, if you just take something as true, and it's just truth and people, it's just like, this is there's a reason why the headlines of stories have to be uh, responsible. Like the headlines of newspapers, I mean, have to be responsible because if your headline is not responsible, they know that the first most thing that people read is the headline, half of the first paragraph, and then they go on because people have uh, busy lives. That's why they have clickbait because they know people will just look at it, maybe read it a little and go on about their lives, right? And so what he's saying here is that how bad is it that you're accused of something and people automatically believe it? Yes, and and, and what does and what does young what does young geezer, geezer say? I was lucky when a cop showed up. I was sober. She was drunk and belligerent. I know that situation. They almost took her to jail. You know, so if he was um, if he was drunk and she was drunk, they wouldn't have believed him. And that's what the implication is here. Let's let's roll the clip a little more. Why do you take it as truth? Because you want it to be true because he's doing better than you in life? I mean, it's fucking unbelievable. I, I really believe this, okay? If somebody gets accused, okay, of, of, of rape or domestic violence, they should not publicize the person's name until they're convicted of it. I think that's more than fair. True. Considering all the fucking dopes Facts. out there that the second they read something, ah, it's gotta be true. You know? Let it fucking see what happens first. See what the fuck happens first. All, that, that, that whole thing now that all you got to do is just say the amount of fucking guys who've been falsely accused of that shit. It's like you're literally fucking with their ability to get a job. You're fucking with their reputation. You know the deal, dude. Like domestic violence and anything involving sex, that shit never goes, that never goes away. Uh, One yes. of facts right there. This is facts. And, and, you know, and this is why and this is why I went so hard on when people attack comedians. Understand that comedians have a license to tell the truth in a funny way or they have a license to rant. This is why everything Bill Burr said here was facts. He said it from, from a very, and just break down his whole conversation. What did he say? He said, yes, men do do things bad. And for all the crappy stuff they do, there was a correction. But now we've overcorrected to the point where this man's life is really ruined. And so why don't we just not publicize their names and tell the trial? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Let's get to this chat right here. Rob Lowe was having sex with an underage girl in the 80s, and no one in the media who practices the same behavior ever talks about it. It's like it never happened. Facts. Facts. I remember that. I remember that. And, and, and nothing happened to Rob Lowe, by the way. Somebody said he might uh, My dad said, that boy was having sex with him. He got the complexion for the connection. That's what my dad told me. The complexion for the connection? Is that what he said? <laughs> he got the complexion for the connection. <laughs> shout out to Shout out to it. My dad was the greatest. He had a bunch of one-liners. He was not funny. He would say stuff with a straight face. He'd be like this. Oh, he had the complexion for the connection. Did you have any discussions connection. with Mr. Oh, Hurt on the way? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. He would be like, he had the complexion for the connection. And then go about his life. He'd be like, what? That's hella funny. Wait, was he through. trying to make it funny? No, he was no, just no. the way he asked me what my major malfunction was all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was just in the military. That's what. He did. All right, so uh, okay, I think we can actually skip a lot of these because it's the same repeated right. behavior over and over again. Where Amber Heard is antagonizing. All Johnny right, so Depp. so let's let's put this up to a poll with the chat. Chat, do you think Amber Heard was over the top antagonizing Johnny Depp? Or do you think that this is just a big exaggeration for his for his case? Antagonizing, put a number one in the chat. Exaggeration, put a number two. Oh, uh, and, and it was like, the oh, honeymoon. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 So on this struggle. honeymoon right here, from Heavy Orient Express. Struggle, struggle. Oh, on this honeymoon right here, she hit John Depp on their honeymoon. All right. Not only she'd hit him in the eye, later on she ended up throwing away 
where do I have it? His phone, wallet, and passport over the balcony. And so I think that was in LA. And so the the security guard over here, or not the security guard, yeah, it is the security guard, it has a personal detail card, had to retrieve the wallet, phone, and passport. And um <laughs> he gave the 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 um the homeless person four hundred and twenty dollars, <laughs> bought him some food. <laughs> <laughs> bought him some drinks and he was able to retrieve the passport phone and wallet okay so so uh oh by the way the number ones are overwhelmingly a bunch of ones in the chat so uh you know he's you know and i realized i didn't have my screen share on so sorry guys but right. yeah so let's so, go right here this is where johnny depp got hit this was their wedding their honeymoon i mean so you you see, can... you see. See, he, he looks like he got smashed. Yep, yep. They actually had a fight. Literally had a fight seconds before this. Not seconds, but like minutes before they took this picture. And then they all took the picture. Yeah. And then this is the security guard that had to retrieve the phone, passport, and wallet for Mr. Johnny Depp. So he was also the security guard that um, disclosed some information about Amber Heard leaving a turd yeah. on the bed. So, <laughs> yeah. Final message. What is up, my G? Greetings and welcome to the stream. All right. So this other clip right here, we're going to speed through this real fast. Just want to show you some things. Yes. It is the where she turned on the clip or her phone to record him doing something. And he famously says that the only thing he was abusing that he was hurting was the cabinets. And that's what he was doing. Yeah. All right, so let's 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 spin the clip. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, that's hella wide though. Hey man, I mean, you get that much stress. Oh really? You're all. I mean, just imagine being this man's position right here. I can empathize with him, like where you're locked in, knowing that your money is tied up in a marriage, and that you have to do everything in your power to not hit her to lose your emotional cool your your um your emotions and do something stupid because that would have been really i, I go i, I, I go lie though beating up cabinets and breaking your stuff that's all no nothing happened to you yeah but like <laughs> <laughs> what happened here i'll get so face call it <laughs> just drink some <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry you keep going <laughs> oh that's hella funny all right great comment Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, all right. Let's go. Let's pull right. it together. We'll stop. So we'll talk about the lawyers and confidence just in a second here. But like uh, this is another clip that I want to show you. Yeah. Um. Open a new tab. Drag it over here. All right. And this is the Mr. the Gatsby ice cream incident. The you keep showing the clip. I'll be back. All right. This is the ice cream incident where they were at, I believe they were at Coachella. He had done already like a 17 hour day of his acting job and she wanted him to hold his ice cream. So she knew he was tired, but he did admit that he was on opiates and he willingly held this little ice cream thing for her. But it's been reported many times by Johnny Depp that she liked to stage a lot of these type of events so she can get pictures of it. So it kind of makes you wonder what her motives were and what type of picture that she was attempting to create for the audience, for mass media, for mainstream media, for people out there to perceive this whole incident that Johnny Depp is a terrible person, that he's constantly knocked out, he's on something. But I mean, if you're going to get someone at their worst at every time, uh, that usually sticks in people's minds a lot much more than when people do something good, which he has done many, many times. So let me go look right here. All right, uh, let me see. So there's a story. If I can find it. Mm -mm -mm. There it is. Where they brought in this painter. I forgot what his name is. Hi. But if you were to listen yeah. to this really uplifting story, what Johnny Depp did for this man is amazing. This man was been painting mm -hmm. most of his life. And he was painting, I think... Um, not exactly rich or anything. He, he was lower middle class, maybe even actually poor. And Back Johnny to... Depp, 
brought him over to a friend of Johnny Depp's had said, told this guy that I'm going to, um, Johnny Depp is interested in your paintings. So Johnny Depp wants to speak with you. So he goes and he meets up with Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp says, hey, I want to create an art exhibit for you. So basically get a gallery and showcase all of his art. And Johnny Depp told him, what I want to do for you is I'm going to be your patron. Oh, speaking of which, Grover, what do we have? We have a Patreon. We have a Patreon. We have a we have a Patreon. <laughs> oh, monetization! Look, 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 look at it. Just, Where just, is it? <laughs> we're trying to monetize Max, but what will be on what will, what will be on our Patreon though? What will be on our Patreon? Uh, so there'll be some uncensored conversations, well, uncensored topics, conversations about travel, travel. Uh, and and, and uh, a lot of our older older streams. We'll also have our podcast time, our our podcast. Uh, our podcast style streams where we're just mm. talking about a subject. But most importantly, what we're going to have is a Q&A for content creators, just giving them ideas, all right? And we, that's still all in development, but eventually yeah. we'll do that. So I just want to mention that really quick. So Johnny Depp is a patron for uh, this person, individual here, and he got him a, an art studio. He paid for all of the expenses, all his food, for his rent, got him an actual... It, okay, so with Johnny Depp's kind of money, Getting him an art studio, it would be like a penthouse to the yeah. average person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy, all he did was paint, had uh, displayed all his art in an art gallery, made about uh, 40 bucks online or on eBay, 100 bucks at like flea markets and, and what have you now. Then with Johnny Depp's help, he started selling paintings, paintings in the thousands of dollars. And so this is one of the untold stories, what I'm Johnny from, Depp. Uh, Kevin Murphy what Johnny Depp did for people. And they're attempting to use this guy to turn against Johnny Depp. So, I don't know. It's, so, it goes to show you that when, and I just like having to say this, but I'm gonna have to say this. When a woman says something, people listen. Because women are important to the proliferation of the species. They control the culture, they control their womb, they bring more people in the world, and they transmit culture to their children, which eventually become people like us. <laughs> like you guys in the chat. Man, man play the clip, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> so it's it's um, having him, <laughs> this whole case, he had to fight this whole narrative that he was this abusive person when it's kind of shows that he wasn't and doesn't help that she had to, you know, pop a squat in the bed. To a different room and you don't. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I had just caught it. All right, so let's see over here. So let's see where am I gonna go next? Festival ice cream. So what do you think about that, Grover? About her using different tactics to help to get him to a position. What were her intentions? You think what? to make him look bad in the public light? Her intentions to make him look bad. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I think she was trying to trying to drum up business for herself. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think that just the more business she could drum up for herself. She, she look, women have exit plans, bro. Well, like she's not, she obviously she's not in it till the end, right? Yeah. I mean, she's punching them in the face on their honeymoon. There's there's problems, right? And her exit plan is like, look, how high can I drive my value up by driving his value down? And and then we'll, we're going to leave. And so that's what it was here. You know, and that's what she did. So what do you... What do you uh, so, 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 folks, do you think that she was just using this for an exit plan? Put a one in the chat. Was she just using this for an exit plan? Uh, if you don't think she was using it for an exit plan, put a two in the chat. All right, so trial mentioned his private parts. All right, so also to let you guys know, her legal team was very incompetent. Her PR team, public relations for Amber Heard, was also very incompetent. So she eventually fired her PR team. And so in going to this new testimony, I'm not sure she reverked her or revamped her um, legal team, but definitely her public relations team is a new set of people. Yeah. So let's go right here. And these are <laughs> the other pictures where Johnny Depp was injured, right? Mm -hmm. Right there. So before we go in, uh, I'm going to drop you down for a second, Jada. So this is his first mark where she hit him. Yep. Right. And then we got a bruise here on the left orbital bone. And there's multiple photos of him with bruises on his face at different time periods. Wow. Right? If you have and of not course, of course, we're gonna go right back to this to emphasize the point. 
yeah. The thing. Have, thing. If you have not already, please yeah. hit that like button. We need seven, eight more likes until we have our. We will drop the link after eight eight likes. If you want to have a call in show, we have eight more likes to get the call in show. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot. It's just eight more. So. And with Jada about to come up, she was a guest that we invited on our last stream on Elon Musk buying out Twitter mm -hmm. and what that means. So thank you, Jada, for appearing. We'll bring you on just a second. Let, let's uh, read a couple of these comments. Go ahead, go ahead. And then we'll get it on here. So let's see. Coach Keith, by the way, uh, Coach Keith is a basketball coach. Uh, he corrected that in the chat. The track coach was of his son, so he got a coach and family. Uh, that's dope, by the way. I think she's crazy. Hot chicks are crazy. True. <laughs> anyway, would you say 100% of hot chicks are crazy? Or do you think, like, well, yeah. hotter they are? What, how do you define hotness? Crazier they can be. <laughs> you know the damn truth. I, I didn't see your struggles. What are you talking about? I didn't see the shit. You I don't know through. what you mean. Shut up, Baltimore. Anyway, <laughs> Horrible. I would have divorced her by the honeymoon for it. Yes. Let's see. Uh, we don't care. The girls are here for the changes. Change, <laughs> changes nudes on Patreon. Oh, shut up. Self-made, the number one, the number one sniper out there, the number one sniper. And then uh, what, what we have, we had a, uh, we had a couple of comments up here. Uh, we're gonna go to the comment. Oh, the vital message saying the Patreon is a gateway drug before OnlyFans. And then I told him that we know your toes are out there, and he said, "A small sacrifice to pay my tuition, because that mm -hmm. tuition is high out there." It's hard out there. It's hard out there on the pimp. Uh, Barry Holyoke, main takeaway, do not get married. Man, it really seems like it's tough out here on dudes to get married. Uncle Guns. I'm going to start my OnlyFans channel. Call it Only Guns. Go live. Oil down rifles for sporting simps. Guns. I ain't going to lie. And by the way, this court I, case. I ain't going to lie. I, I would lie. I watch a lot of shooting and I watch shooting and fishing YouTube videos all the time. By the way, this court case wasted a lot of average people's time. Yeah. Time is money for average people like us. Yes. Where we need to use most of that time to go ahead and make money. So this is one individual here had to testify for the past five, six years on this case. As you can tell, he's vaping. In the <laughs> Dude, let's, let's hear his commentary though. His commentary. Oh, his, his, yeah, his commentary is funny. But let's see. Let's go play this real quick. The line. So the incident was May 21st, 2016. Look at, look at Johnny Lennon. You saw her the night of May 25th, correct? Correct. You said uh, that you saw Amber Heard. So it, like he's just kind of like, well, he's over it. He even said at one point, I, I don't even remember what, uh, you're asking me all these questions. I don't even remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. And look at him, he's driving. With no seatbelt on. Yeah, yeah, he's just driving. He's, he's gone. Dude, he I'm should, gone. Like, should, I, I got things to do. He should sip a beer, right? I got things to do. I got to go see my kids. I got to go to work. Why am I still doing with this case? Doesn't make any sense. I'm here testifying for rich people out in Hollywood. Yeah. No, no, I got to make money. That's correct. That's correct. Exactly. Emphasis. Right. And it's funny, like the judge here. That was a first. I'm sorry. I'm a. That was the first. It's like, like the court system sometimes. In these hard times. In these crazy times. Okay. okay, so uh, we have a guest backstage. Yes, we do. So let's bring up. We're gonna uh, bring up Jada. Hopefully, you are ready. Let's see here, right here. Okay, there we go. Jada, yeah. perspective. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Excellent. We are doing excellent. So, what do you think of this whole situation? Um, it was uh, surprising very surprising because um i don't know i guess like you know you they had brought it up earlier like all oh, the prettier the crazier but like it was surprising <laughs> because she was like an actor you know and like you just don't get to see the, the side of like celebrities because they're always like trying to hold it together in public and stuff so you just really saw like yeah the other side of her <laughs> not not jada you know, you, you know, you you uh, you held your own with the chat last time. And oh it was my very God, impressive. Here we go. Very impressive. Here we go. But let's just, uh, I, I, I just, I just want you to know, 
and I'm going to start asking you a start. very honest question. How crazy are you? <laughs> I just play it. I'm just playing. Go, go. I just, I just, I just want to do it. I just want to throw a rich Can a person really describe how crazy you are? I mean, <laughs> hey, so this is the thing about it's a catch 22, right? It's like you can't tell people that you're crazy because that means you're not crazy when you tell people that you're, you're crazy. crazy. So you would have to have someone else that deem you are crazy to be actually crazy because that's usually how like the World War II pilots had to try to get away from um, flying these air missions. It's a catch 22 by Joseph Heller. What the hell are you talking about? No, no, no. It's like, what? Talk about the craziness. Like, a crazy person really doesn't know they're crazy. They would have to be diagnosed to be crazy. And that will lead us to the next clip. But yeah. All right. So, uh, good point. Uh, good point. So, uh, I might be crazy. Co Coach Keith, and this is a question for all of us here. Um, do you know anyone who's been happily married with a hot chick in nine or 10 for longer than 10 years? Marrying her after the wall doesn't count. So, um, do you know any uh, long-term relationships with beautiful people, Jaya? Um, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, I have a few friends that are married and in healthy relationships. They're they're pretty in in my eyes. So you know, it's crazy because uh, in uh, a song, Kanye West said, "Prettiest people do the ugliest things." Mm -hmm. That's called so. all falls all falls down. It was off the college dropout album. Yep. Dang, yep. Yeah, that yeah, was, and that, that, it was that, the seventh track. Uh, it was, I think, it was the seventh, seventh or the ninth track on the album. Anyway, oh. nice. You know, you're Kanye. Um, you're Kanye shit. All right. So, like, <laughs> what do you think Amber Heard's intentions were in this whole situation? Like, what? Why she wanted to get married with Johnny Depp? What made her start to act this way? Do you think this was always a part of her? What are your initial Honestly? impressions on that? I feel like, okay, so we were just saying how like crazy people don't know they're crazy, but I do think they know like how to put on an act for like only so long. Like I feel like maybe they got like a year before they start really like showing their crazy side, you know? So, so let me that's ask just you, my opinion. I feel like she wasn't like that at first, you know? I, I want to give Johnny Depp the benefit of the doubt and think like, okay, he wasn't that blinded by her looks. So, you know, maybe oh, she was like cool at first, and then you know, she wasn't cool, she beat the hell out of him on his day. Well, so, let me ask you, like, how know. quick I, that's kind of kind of crazy. How quick is it for a person, for a man, to discover if a woman's crazy or not? Like, well, crazy to a point where you're like, he he kind of understands, yeah, I think I should end this. All right, so, so put it this way Johnny Depp should have never married her because if he would have did his research, if he would have understood about Better? her, he wouldn't have married her. If he would have better her, 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 he should have. Well, I mean, he could, he could have checked the whole facts. Well, there's even a clip of him saying, "Hey," and they were having an argument with each other, and he was telling her like, "You should put more time in becoming um, a better actress instead of like showing your goods out there." <laughs> anyway, so he by the way. Time, but 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 here, let's be real. Let me be real. Uh, let, let me let me be real just about this. If uh, you should not marry somebody without understanding their family history. It's just truth. It's the truth. You should like just like when you meet her father and you meet her mom, right? If your parents are not alive, you you need to you need to try to find out what's going on with her. She was abused as a child. Look, if, and I'm not saying that that disqualifies. Explain that. Explain that more. Well, she was she was abused as a child. Her 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 father was her father was intensely abusive to her, mm -hmm. and so that that and he was also addicted to. He was a, he was addicted to uh, both his parents. Both her parents were addicted to opiates, were heroin okay. addicts, I believe. So look. I, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it's absolutely imperative that if somebody has a, a tough family history that you can never be with them. What I'm saying is that you need to understand that, and you can't go into things blind. So I, I'm being very serious here. I've been joking a lot, but you have to understand that, and that's part of the vetting process. What happens is that people just kind of jump in a sack without understanding. Like back in the day, like before, you know, like like you get to meet people's folks. You you ask about their folks and 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 it just I, I know it doesn't sound realistic, but at one point we need to start doing things kind of the older ways when marriages were more successful. I mean, let's let's be real. The marriages are not successful. Maybe we should do things older ways like that. So you probably should like let's find out about their family history. How do you find out about their family history? Well, for us, it's probably a little more difficult, but for a multimillionaire, it's pretty easy. And that's, but that's the stalking, thing. Grover. That's, that's going thing. over. Uh, it's not stalking. <laughs> over boundaries and stuff. It's not, it's not stalking. <laughs> Fuck your boundaries. You're not going to have. Yeah. All right. But was it worth it? I think it cost them about fifty-five million dollars for married for fifteen months. <laughs> Would you rather go over your boundaries, or? <laughs> and do you think they were having sex like the last year of their marriage? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, actually, she. They might have been. I don't know.
<laughs> they, oh, that'd be weird. I mean, that'd be kind of like, oh, that's crazy. My man, it's right about the background. Your upbringing is foundational to who you are. Hey, thank you, Coach Key. So what do you think about what I said, Jada? Do you think I'm being old? You know, you know, you look at this gray hair, or maybe you say, he old-fashioned. Look at him, Grandpa. <laughs> no, I agree. Genetics is very important. It's just as important as um, the person's environment, you know. So, oh, they're telling me to cam up again. Shout out to Seth May, two dollars super chat. Jada, cam, cam up. up, voice, voice sale. sale. Uh, I'm doing laundry. I'm like moving around. I would though. Next time for sure. Uh, All right, good. Oh, oh, for sure. Okay. Okay. But, uh, All right, but Jack, no, go I agree in. With go in genetics. immediately. Sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. Go on. No, I was just being silly. Go on. Uh, yeah, no, I agree with you. Genetics are super important. Very important. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I don't know about the background check thing. Maybe they were saying that they should add that to um, like dating apps, you know, because you don't never know what you're who you're gonna yeah. meet online. Yeah, so, that's for sure. Yeah, maybe it's not that wild, you know. You never really truly yeah. know somebody. Yeah. Uh, uh, shout out to Ni Hayes Rojas. If your mom tells you she doesn't like your girlfriend, it's for a reason. Okay, this is gonna that's sound true. crazy. This is gonna sound crazy, but here we go. One day I was like 16 and, and this is lady. I brought her to my house and I was all happy, right? And my mom was trying to be nice, but see, like my, my, my mom was old school. Like you can see there's manners and after a while, she just like, oh, you don't get this tramp out of my house, right? And so we're going there and all of a sudden my mom closed the door. She looks at me, she says, never bring that bitch here again. And I was like, and I didn't understand. She was one of the most horrible people I've ever been around. Like. Like a month later, I see their true colors. So, like, your parents actually understand things and traits that you don't understand. So, that's a very good comment. Yeah, I, I got to give it to like my parents. Uh, I have a set of parents, many, many parents, and they usually call things right a lot of the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I always go to the opposite way and do something dumb. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your mom <laughs> likes me, right? Uh, yeah, they both like you. Yeah, see that? Yeah, see I, got, that? Yeah. I got a few moms going on here. Yeah. So, Deborah Breeden. Uh, shouts out to you, Deborah Breen. Hundred. Yes, thank you, thank you very much. Shouts out, thank you for the two dollar super chat. You folks don't understand, self-made, Deborah. Uh, everybody, who's, it means so much to us. Uh, let's see. And what did this super chat say? It says Hunter Thompson's dream wielded immense power. Hunter Thompson's dream quotes about dream. Uh, if you guys don't know who Hunter S. Hunter S. Thompson was, he was actually. Uh, he was actually, a, I, I want to say, an author, and I know the the movie Fear and Loathing Las Vegas was based off of him. Oh, really? Okay. And I think there's two movies that was based off of him. I can't remember the other one. Johnny Depp <laughs> Johnny was Depp. actually friends <laughs> yes. with him. He actually started in that and became friends with him, and actually Johnny Depp financed his his uh, funeral and how he wanted to die. So I think that was really awesome uh, and and a great, great super chat. Thank you so much. So let's go. Oh, I got a lot of chats to read here while Scott's doing it. It's all about the LMS, LMS, or be Balkan, Warrior's Blood, Astute Trans, Vlad the Impaler runs in my genetics. Okay, uh, Astute Trans, we are going to, uh, I mean, you just scaring the hell hey, out of me. Hey, was this a psychedelic movie? Was yes, it like on yes, one the whole time? Oh, yeah. No, Hunter S. Thompson. You know, I have did, never watched this. He did uh, uh, a copious amounts of drugs in his life. Did he? And I, uh, Keith Coach says, NIS Rojas is right. If your mom isn't overly uh, possessive, they possessive. They smell female deception. Interesting. Self-made. Dolphin blood runs through my blood, of course. Dolphin blood. Who else do we have in it? Oh, I don't care productions. I went to Vlad's house when I was in Transylvania. Yes, you did. Uh, this man, this man is a, uh, this man is a, filmmaker this man has also produced tv shows uh he's also a good friend of mine i've known him since i was a sophomore in high school so shout out to matt abaya aka i don't care productions respect my g friend of the show and a member of one of our original podcasts so, all right we're gonna get to you in a second jada i'm sorry i just gotta give love to the chat self-made jada who sent you are you after our chain, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, it never fails. So let's get back to the questions we were asking. Okay. So next question was, hold on. Let me think. Uh, 
what do you think of Johnny Depp's um like hmm. let me think about this one. All right, so what do you think what do you think about Johnny Depp's uh drug use? Do you think that that had yeah, that's a, a good one? That's do you think one. that it had an ultimate effect uh, on on how he was being treated or do you think she was going to treat him that way anyway? I do think she was going to treat him that way regardless um because they had the psychiatrist go up and just um explain like that she had borderline personality disorder. Yep. So I don't think, you know, I, I pre yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just her and who she is. All right, so stop right there because I'm gonna actually share this clip. So that was a good question, Grover. You know, I just I just pull them out. I just pull them out like that. I wasn't ready. No prep, no prep. It's just I'm natural. Directly with the good. Oh, another yeah. smooth yeah. cat. Hi, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Are you implying? <laughs> <laughs> Are you implying that the white ladies are smooth cats? What's going on here? She's what a is smooth it? cat, She's according a... to the TLA, man. That's what, Tasha, that what it is? that's what Tasha K said. A smooth, smooth cat. cat. Shout out to once again to the lead attorney. Yeah, TLA. I don't care who don't like him. I like the Hey, TLA. he's the one that got us over 1,000 subs. Hey, 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 I, I, and like, like we'll close TLA. Roman while we got her featured here. Like, Imagine uh, you being a 900,000 subscriber channel. Like, we're peons. And she showed us love. So, oh, well, I'm not going to call myself a peon, but thank you. You know, I'm trying to make a point right here. Yeah. So let me uh, go up to you real <laughs> yeah. quick. So, uh, so where are we five. And so this is the official diagnosis. All right. From... So, 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 so everybody in the chat right here looking at Amber Heard uh, with uh, that picture. So Dr. Was, she, was she worth the 40 million? Put a one if she's worth it. Put a two if she's not. No. <laughs> I was going to say something inappropriate, but I held myself together. She's a smooth <laughs> cat. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's hear. Let's hear. Dr. Ms. Heard. I did. What were those opinions? I, uh, the results of Ms. Heard's evaluation supported two diagnoses, borderline personality disorder right and there. histrionic personality disorder. Are you aware that Mr. Depp is on an audio recording years earlier telling Amber Heard that she has a borderline personality disorder? I was made aware of that in this case, yes. So you did is actually that one of the audio not necessarily taunting, but I do recall hearing that Mr. Depp had used that phrase. Okay, so um, this clip will actually lead into <laughs> a couple other subjects with the muffin story, where the lawyer on Amber Heard's team or Amber Turd, <laughs> Amber, <laughs> read that it for me. Hashtag Amber Turd not worth the chocolate droppings, even if they ate diamonds. <laughs> Shout out to Marcus G. Like, you have to understand MC. our chat. We, we got we call our chat the polite savages. Polite savages never fail. Polite savages. We got we got the hitters and we got the hitters. I just want to give a shout out to everybody in here. Twenty two folks in here. Let's hit the likes. Let's hit the likes. Mm -hmm. Let's let's get us to thirty likes so we can drop that link. Let's bring up the savages and let's have a party up in here tonight. Okay. So <laughs> they were attempting to discredit this uh, psychologist here with a muffin story of how she was excited to tell her husband that she's working on the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case and over some muffins. Like, it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. So, um, I don't know, Jada. Like, do you think Amber Turd is a fitting name for Amber Heard? Oh, it, it was too perfect that her name was Amber Heard, and then she did that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was way too perfect. Amber so, Turd. It was almost a setup. <laughs> <laughs> would you <laughs> I'm gonna ask you this question would you be crazy enough like okay would you ever oh, be in a position you. where you're so upset that you'd think like dropping a turd off in someone's bed is is a proper thing to do to get them back definitely not definitely, definitely not, not. <laughs> okay. so, so, I think I'll, I think a lot of people can agree on that shout sure. out to I don't care productions for the 499 super sticker thank nice. you so much just supporting support yeah. the boys. I, I that's awesome I, I feel Thank you, love. sir, feel for that full 99 super yes. sticker. Yes, yes. And she did it for, um, I think she did it because he was, like, late to her birthday. Like, it was something so, like, like petty. I don't know. Like I, yeah, so petty. I was like, okay, I was just searching for something more, you know, like, to make it a little more reasonable. But it just wasn't. <laughs> like, the whole yeah. thing was wild. This is off the hook? Yeah, no, this makes no sense. Uh, so... That's probably what did it. That and the finger thing make it look really bad. You know, you know what's you know what's you no know what's really interesting to me is that I'm like like I know that there's a lot of things that people do to get back at each other. I'm not naive, like there's no perfect relationships, right? 
you right. know, shush. There's no perfect men or women, except for me. I'm I'm very perfect in my relationship. Shout out to the wife. <laughs> I know I know she's right now. Right now she's like making a voodoo doll of me somewhere. Like I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. No, but like there's nobody perfect. So let's be honest, right? But I I just have a hard time processing things that I see here. It's it's so dysfunctional uh, on her end and on his end too. There's a lot of dysfunction on his end, but come on, we we have to we have to we have to really say, can we? Like, what? I can't even articulate it. But what else? What, what what else? What else could he have done to like salvage the relationship? You know, I mean, and I, even her testimony, she said um, that he punched her, and like, it's just so hard to believe her. Like, it really, like, if when you watch the clip, I don't know. Like, she's not emotional. You know, when people usually like talk about their abuse, they like. They get emotional. It's just, yeah. I'm not saying it didn't happen. Of course, you know, we weren't there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so if we look at your content right here, right, you've done stuff on Jack the Ripper and uh, Ted Bundy. So yes. with your perspective on your research on these two individuals, and, of course, Amber Heard's definitely not like these two individuals. Um, on the spectrum. <laughs> on the spectrum of crazy from a scale of 1 to 10. What do you think it is? But hold on, hold on. Let's keep you a little more. The psychopath. Let's say, the let's, say one, psychopath. let's say one is a kind of like a ordinary, well balanced person, and let's say twenty is Jack the Ripper. Where do you put it? <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll give. Mm, let me give her. Yikes. Okay. I'll give her a. Okay. If it's Jack the Ripper, then I'm gonna give her like thirteen. You know. Like, I don't think she's that bad, but that bad. yeah, she's pretty bad, though. The bottle thing is what got me because you can, like, really hurt someone. And she did it twice. So what is your perception of um, women today? Like, do you would you say it's true that women today have an extra advantage over males uh, when it comes into uh, dealing with law enforcement or the court system? Oh, without a doubt, they definitely favor the woman. They even say that they do. They don't even hide it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, and, well, and why do you think that's the case? Because men um, typically are more uh, violent, and that's just a part of the masculine, um, uh, masculinity. I guess you could say toxic masculinity um, stigma uh -oh. going on. But uh, not, of course, not every man is like that. It's just in a situation where things get violent, um, yeah. men inevitably have um, just a, a larger, uh, more of an advantage, you know, as far as their body mass. So, you know, usually it's, you know, the cops are gonna look at the man because they have that physical advantage. So that's what makes this case so unique is that, um, you know, everyone favored her at first, because he lost his rights to Pirates of the Care. I mean, he lost Caribbean. his. Uh, like, didn't he lose the role or something? Like, they were going to bring. Yeah, it yeah back. he lost. He lost the role. Uh, and he's the main character yeah. of that whole series. Like, right. without him, like, it's not oh. the Pirates of Car Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, not literally Jack the, he's literally the pirate of the Caribbean. Right. <laughs> he's like the best pirate. <laughs> yeah. But so, uh, but yeah, so it was so everyone favored her at first, and then yeah. um, when you got into the details of the case. It was it was surprising. It was yeah. very surprising. Shout out, uh, Coach Keith, for the five dollar super stickers. Thank you, sir. Thank you for so that $5 much for supporting us so yes, hard. Yes, yes. And we have another one. We have a we have a self made. Bring in the heat, Jada. He's on you, Jada. Jada why, why do you, do have, you have a scratchy white girl voice? Oh my god. <laughs> well, I've actually been told that quite a few times in my life, so <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'm from hey, 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 real quick, you also kind of got a stoner laugh too. <laughs> yeah, she said. She said I know. Sense. I've been told that my voice is crazy. <laughs> no, uh, right. Uh, and, and Coach Steve said, "Nope, it's because men see themselves as protectors of women, and that is why I was going to push back a little on you. And I was going to say this: everybody has an inherent bias, whether you go training or not. But here is one thing that I'll say." When a man walks into a place and he sees a big man and a little woman, he's automatically going to assume that the man is not only more powerful, but that it's his duty instinctively to protect her, especially if a man is from a certain generation. 
I think that that's put men in a very unfortunate situation when it comes to domestic abuse. I'm not saying that men are not are, and are not guilty at times of domestic abuse, but I'm saying that there have been plenty of times, and I can I've even talked about a time once before, where like a like a woman just hit me, and I wasn't even with her. She just hit me in the throat because she didn't believe I was a martial artist, and I put her in the rear naked choke. Oh and wow! I choked, and I choked her just long enough for her to sleep because I wanted to defend myself, and, and, and she peed on herself, but that's okay. But she hit me in the throat. And hitting someone in the throat, you can hurt them badly. So what I'm saying is that- You can kill a person, crush and, them one by a right. but, but now, why didn't I hit her? I didn't hit her, because if I would've hit her, I would've gotten in trouble. Believe it or not, people look at me grabbing her and putting her to sleep like that as controlling the situation more, which I know how to do, than hitting her so it's kind of weird to me because I would rather get hit than pass out and pee on myself. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> yeah, oh no, yeah, I held her so she pissed. <laughs> and I and and I don't and if people uh, know me, I I'm like I don't I'm actually really not like that. You know, I, I don't like conflict at all. But that's just one of the things that that happens. So I I I think that it's unfortunate, and I don't know. I don't know how necessary it is right now to, to always, when you have facts like this, I think that we should take a more balanced approach and like really suss out the facts first. What do you think about that? Do you think I'm off base? No, I agree. I completely agree. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, uh, our, our tip two member, the mm -hmm. number one. She's the number one, right? Yes, yes. Number uh, one, the first uh, person. Uh, or was she number two? Was it Dan? Uh, let me double check it. Or... Well, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, well, she was the, the first or the second tip two member who has to leave. Uh, I hope you have a pleasant evening. Thank you for rocking with us for so long. And uh, and uh, I think they're on the same day. DM beat her by one day. Uh, okay, so our, our second member, thank you for rocking with us for so long. And, of course, uh, you know, uh, we, we welcome you to the next stream. Uh, final message says he lost his role. At, he lost the role as Grinwald. He also, yes, he also lost the role as Grinwald for this. I, I forgot about that in the Beast of the Wild, which I really wanted. One of the series I really watched. But who could imagine that you're a Hollywood actor dating another Hollywood actress that you would end up losing your roles because how the okay, first off, how did she get this far? Literally, how did she get this far where she's able to date someone like Johnny Depp True. and without people vetting her, without knowing? All the craziness that's been uh, brewing up over the years of her career. She, she, she's. I mean, she's pretty. She's pretty. Pretty. Privileged. So pretty, pretty, pretty privileged. Okay. Pretty privileged, and and you know, also, but she came up in a situation. She came up behind a situation where uh, they just had the whole Harvey Weinstein thing was coming to, and the Me Too movement, and all of this mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm saying that like people are are, are looking past certain certain behaviors. You know, I, it's honestly, people are looking past certain behaviors. So, uh, all right. So we do have our 30 likes. That is true, Mr. Matt Abaya. I don't care productions. He was warned, but he wanted some of that. It was uh, too tempting for him to He wanted away. some of that. She's, she was a siren for sure. He, he was, wanted some of that cooler. She's the she's Aquaman. A yeah, she's a, oh, siren. So she's a siren. Instead of being playing Mara, she might well play a siren instead. So let's see right here. Okay, where else do we got? Hey, all right. Ain't nobody gonna watch it besides Orlando Bloom and the other old pirate. Uh, right. Jack Sparrow is Pirates of the Caribbean. Why on him? Nothing true. Uh, and I do agree that men are natural protectors. Yes, astute trends. And but it does not mean to be a sucker. And that's what men have to really worry about. Like you know, because I I just can't be getting punched in the face. Over and over again. Barry Holyoke, don't underestimate the power of the poon. <laughs> Fuck you, miss. <laughs> I have already hired an exorcist and demon hunter for J. Jezebel, the Jezebel. Jezebel Beast, <laughs> Holy Water Crucifix. And Gold. <laughs> Same Will Smith and the kids. Same, Same Will Smith and the kids. <laughs> Astute oh, Trent no. says the That's best hilarious. best to walk away if a woman gets violent. It's not worth the fight with ladies. Yes. Yes. You must always walk away unless uh, she has a gun to kill you, and all bets are off. Yeah. Um, I will say that you don't have to get uh, in California if someone punches you in the throat and you, they would actually ask me, why didn't I just hold her? Mm -hmm. And I did hold her. 
by our neck. Hey, you know, we got to give a award to Johnny Depp, though, to be able to keep his cool for all those years. I mean, I, I, I actually believe money. that Johnny Depp probably hit her. I actually believe that there was violence both ways. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is just that it's just it was just made that it was violence one way. I know we've gotten really serious, uh, but here we got blacks again. Maybe Biggie Smalls was, was channeling Grover. What was your leg goal? When he came, dirty, dirty. So, yeah, right. we can drop it. So when he came, it says infamous lyrics. Girls, <laughs> that's, hilarious. that's dope. Uh, uh, all right, let's get us there now. Thank you, Uncle Guns. All right, well, actually, I got one more question for you, Jada. What do you think the prediction? What's your prediction of the outcome of this court case? Who do you think is going to be the winner? And after you tell me who's going to be the winner, I'm going to ask you one more question after that. Okay, um, that this is really a hard one because I was thinking about this earlier. Um, it's hard to prove, like, I don't know. It's just really hard to prove that he hasn't hit her. So, and I think the whole thing is that she said he hit her in a interview, right? Yeah. Um, that's, like, the whole thing. Like, he's suing her because she publicized that he was being um, violent with her. And yeah. the thing is, it's just so hard to prove that he wasn't. But it's looking, you know, as far as the public goes, everyone well, seems to believe Johnny Depp. So well, I'm going to say Johnny Depp because I definitely, that's what I want um, to happen. I want, I want it to favor Johnny Depp. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if it went the other way either. Well, 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 well here's, the, here's the thing. I actually think that Johnny Depp uh, will win. I don't think he's going to get, I think they're asking for about $55 million. I think he'll Damn. probably get like four or five million dollars. To be honest, I, oh, I, don't I, I don't think it's going to be a lot of money. Uh, exactly. The reason, yeah. the reason is because he's not actually suing her that he never hit her. He's suing her that he was defending himself and that he was in fact the victim of violent abuse also. And so that's mm -hmm. one of the things. Now, understand domestic violence. You can defend yourself. You can right. defend yourself. So, so like if you're hitting me, hitting me, hitting me, hitting me, hitting me, as a man, I have a right. I have, I have, a, I have a right to. Uh, defend myself and, and, and I have a right to defend myself at all times. But in California, there's a very thin line between defense and offense, right? So like, let's say you hit me and you hit me again and let's say I hit you back, right? If you hit me again and I hit you back and you stop, then I have to stop. If you come at me and hit me again, then I can hit you back. So I know that for a fact in California, you know, but That's here, true. Yeah. here's yeah. the deal though. If you hit me and I hit you with a jab cross hook, Right, literally a jab cross hook, three punch combination. You are trained jab cross hook as a fighter since you were a child. I'm just telling you, the jab is defense. If you catch it with the cross, all right, you've raised the you've raised the element, and you could it could be assault. You might get away from it. The hook will be assault with intent to do bodily harm. If you keep hitting someone, it's, uh, it's assault with intent to do bodily harm. So, uh, right, right. I, I I would I would say definitely. I always say, like, I understand that I have a right to defend myself. Why do I understand? I mean, part of my background, you know. You're right. Um, you're right. He does have the right to defend himself. So, so, so that's good. He's proven pretty good that he was defending herself, and that's why I think he'll be okay. Uh, what do we have? We have self made with the two dollar super chat. He's saying, Jada, don't be scared. Stay on the open panel. So, uh, <laughs> we're gonna I'm, 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 I'm gonna stay in the line. Right, 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 right. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna stand alive after I get off. Though. But I don't know about you. She said, I don't know about you savages, though. Right. She, she, I can only take so much. Uh, oh, no, see. I don't know. I do this, though. Use your flexor <laughs> digitorium muscles to click your mouse on the like button instead of stroking your shaft to completion. Like I said, polite savages. Mm -hmm. He was saying, <laughs> Don't listen to self made, Jada. He is a big meanie. He couldn't uh, treat a fair creature like you nearly as good as me, my lady. Uncle Guns throwing the that's, rhythm. Woo! That's, 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 throwing, throwing shots out there. So, so <laughs> what do you think would be the outcome of this? Um, how would this impact Johnny Depp's future? And then answer me how it will impact Amber Heard's future. Oh, he's going to make bank off this. I feel like any movie he does after this, it's going to do well, regardless, just because... He's Johnny Depp and everyone, a lot of people, I'm not going to say everyone, because there actually are some people that just believe it was a toxic relationship, you know? So, yeah, but yeah. I would say the majority of people are in favor of Johnny Depp. So he's going to do it. He's going to do it right. She, on the other hand, I don't see her getting work. You know, there was a petition for her to 
would be removed from Aquaman and it got like over, I don't even know. Scott, three you went million. on with that. It was like three million. Three million. It was three million likes Signatures. And, uh, and like uh, a few hours. Yeah, that's real bad. It's looking real bad for her. <laughs> Not yeah, and, I, and I think it was I think it was uh two million uh, I mean I think it was four million up by the second day. So she's gonna be losing a lot of money. Yeah, that's crazy. Series, so. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, wow. look at Scott. Scott's like Scott's like uh the great value young Jamie. You great value young Jamie. If he didn't have to do everything at one time, he would be yeah. if he didn't have to be on camera, he'd be right. All right. So <laughs> um so, I mean, you kind of answered the por portion of what would happen to her career. Most likely it's going to tank. And Definitely. I don't, you don't think she'll rebound at all? I I mean, it's, okay, so it's her turn to testify right now. So we'll see how people react. You know, I'll, I'll give the internet, I'll let the internet talk for this one. Because okay. it's really the public that's going to decide because that's um, how it that's works. Right. After. The well, court shout, of public shout out opinion. To yikes, yikes. Uh, 3.5 million as of right now. Yeah. Okay, so okay. so let me let me just put out some rules for the links. We had we had a weirdo come up. Yes. And so if I don't know you, and if you're not in the inner circle, you're not and you're not camped up, you're not coming up. And Jada, you said um you have any other last comments that you want? You can stay up if you want. If you don't want to, then you might as well promote your channel or say anything else that you want to say before you leave. Oh well, no, that was it. You you got a lot of good clips. Like, oh, there's a lot more. Yeah, I, I wish we case. had more time to prepare, but then of course, Dave Chappelle getting tackled on stage kind of that was right to it. hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh! But right. yeah, no, um, yeah, you got good clips of the guy that um, testified to that. That basically, she said she uh, Johnny Depp had punched her, and then this guy, his friend, the, the one that he set up with the studio, he said he saw her the next day, and she didn't look like she had makeup on, and he was saying like she didn't look like she was punched at all. So yeah. he, has, he has just so much going for him, you know? So I really do think the case, you know, is going to favor him. No, um, but yeah, thank you guys again for having me on. I, I yeah. had texted, said, I'm like, are you guys going to cover this case? It's wild. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah well, we were storing it up and then it seemed like a lot of the mm -hmm. ladies wanted to talk well, about this case. Well, well, actually, so. actually, actually, I think that like, like certain things that, like it's really valuable to have a lady's perspective on yes it. and I, I think important. this is one of them because like i could go off and say this or that certain things i don't really certain things i'm just talking to fellas <laughs> you know i'm just like guys this is what we should do this is what i'm thinking certain things that we don't so like i, I really appreciate it i think the last the last uh the two times you're up here you added immense value and i thank yes. you i thank you for coming up and sharing your thoughts with us uh, uh you know uh the, the chat has spoken oh chat please put a number one in the chat if next time she needs to be cammed up I'm going to, I promise. <laughs> I didn't realize it'd be so serious, honestly. I'm like, okay, they're serious about the camera. Uh, hey, watch actually. them sipping hard. <laughs> no, I will show myself. I was dark in my room, too, as so I was like, eh. But no, I, I for sure will. You are dark in your room, but I'm dark everywhere. And we'll, remember what I told you. <laughs> for all you content creators, the lighting is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the camera right. of course, is great, but the lighting will make your camera 10 times better. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yes, yes. Yeah, I gotta get get on your your level. No, I, actually, camera. actually, I got a super cheap camera, like literally a, 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 a oh, no one's have it, so you need to be camped up. Yeah, yeah. Time, just so you. Know. I got a super cheap camera, uh, not the not the main camera. Thank you. But, uh, but the secondary camera, I'm gonna add the secondary camera to stream, right? But the secondary camera here mm -hmm. is like super cheap. Yeah, super cheap. It's super cheap, but it's 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 a good camera to have just for the backup. I mean, look, it's not as vivid, but it's super cheap. Wait, the, the number of reason why it's not vivid is because you don't have the Ethernet plugged into the laptop. The laptop is overtaxing itself, so right, it's not right. enough bandwidth. So if the Ethernet cable is directly plugged in, it was a stronger, better laptop, then the, camera, have, the quality would be better. We have to set up over there. Today. Yeah, but we got everything we're, running. We're not going right to set here. up over there. We're, okay. we're set up. So, yeah. And, and, from a filmmaker himself, I don't care production. Smash the buy it, hundred percent on lighting. lighting. So well, what we should have did was we should we should have took Matt to Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> should have. Huh? Um, All right, so uh, let's uh, let, let's let's start getting this panel right. top popping. So we're gonna drop you down, Jada. Thank you very much for coming. All right, thanks time. again, guys. Yep. Yep. Helping us. All out. right, next time you got to stay for the full panel. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Bring your shoulder pads. It's, it's, rough. Your shoulder it's rough pads. on us. It's rough on these YouTube streets. Nah. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for coming up. Thank you for adding value. And of course, we always look forward to talking to you soon.
Till next Til time. time. Yes. All right. See you around. All right. See ya. Thank you. Okay. And, so who should we get first? Shift? Well, let's let's put up the uh, Alan Smitty episode right there, right quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't care if it doesn't matter by shout out to Grover Way and uh, 100 pounds there. Okay, let's take that and never put that up again. Um, yeah, that was like from look a at long that. time ago. Look, look at that, Matt. Where is it? So, who do you want to bring up first? Uh, well, let's 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 go in order. Shift, let's let's do uh, well, it's it, how many people are back there? Four, let's let's There's do a good amount of people. It, it's four, so you want to add them all? Uh, let's do one at a time. All right, first. so we're gonna add shift. I'm adding shift right now. Okay, wait one second. I'm gonna put Matt Allen Smithy so with Matt Fire. Yeah. Dude, that's an old episode. That's yeah. classic. Look at that. Look at that background. How big you are. Look at that. shut up. <laughs> okay. Hey All guys, right. put a one in the chat if I'm hella big <laughs> on this episode. Put a two in the chat. <laughs> this was like five years ago or something. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in. <laughs> Oh, look at Matt Bio looking at you all. Yeah, that's my friend from high school. He's a big, big man. <laughs> Shut up, <dude. laughs> man. Can we please can, can, can we please stop fucking with me? Let's put up the okay. this shield. All right, so put up the shield, and uh, yeah, you go good. ahead and add. Yeah, hey, shit, how you doing? All right, you guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you good. Let's take Sweet. the shield up. Sweet man. He's at it. Uh, I might have Grover do it. Banners. Oh, and then yeah, it's nice. No, 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 actually. brand, brand, brand. My bad. Mm -hmm. And then go down, scroll down. Hold on a sec. Overlay, yeah. and then click off the overlay. Which one, right here? Top one. Top one. Oh, cool. there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. How are you doing, man? I can't complain. You know, the the Fed, uh, they, they decided to, uh, you know, they they uh, meet market expectations. The market rallied. I mean, I'm cheery as rain, man. I'm just uh, and then seeing let, this. Let you, this yeah, actually, been this, paying attention yeah, to that, yeah. Yeah, seeing Amber, you know, the, this woman right here, this is a fine example of extremism, such as femi feminism, going to the extreme radical state and yeah. showing and exposing. And capitalizing on it, using yes. public opinion to make her case. Is, is it yeah. worth it? Look at her. Is it worth it? Well, she's, well, she's never going to have a movie career ever again. So, yeah. to me, but, this but, is... The, 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 this is an example of like the extreme uh, uh, view of like wokeism. It's getting destroyed, especially now the Supreme Court with the Roe v. Wade. You see, nothing lasts forever. I hope these extremists realize that nothing lasts forever, and there's going to be massive pushback towards these type of witches. You know, and, <laughs> these I'm serious. Shift, shift this man. I, uh, <laughs> these I, uh, hold on, let me just stop right here. You know, you know, you know, my brothers from the Discord. I love y'all so much, man. Cause y'all, yeah, cause y'all are like, uh, like punches. polite savages, dude. For real, for real. But, yeah, but I mean, you're, a, you're absolutely yeah. correct, though. Yeah, exactly. It's just um, you you see what I see as women like. They're people too, right? And there's sh there's shitty women and there's good women. But this is an example of an, of a witch, you know. And yes. witches, they, they 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 get their ass handed to them, eventually. You know, you can't you can't just be a you know. She probably got those movie roles because she was pretty and shit. But if she treats people like crap, guess what? She's got to get her ass fisted to her, like eventually by the public. <laughs> Did he yeah. just say that? <laughs> yes, yes, it was, it was yeah. beautiful. Was yeah, and, you know, and, and and at that point, she'd be coming out a diary. <laughs> and, and this is what else I believe. And this is what I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see this very slowly. Traditional minded women are actually out there. And I know a lot of folks are like, shut up, Grover, just because you found one. But I mean, when I mean traditional minded, I mean somebody who like, wants to work with you to build something, you know, who, who doesn't think that you should just hand it to them, who who believes in taking care of you. They're out there, you know. Uh, but I think that you're right. Nothing stays the same forever. I know. Look, guys, I'm not trying to point this cheery picture that you're just going to go out there and find that, find that, uh, that, 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 oh, no. that lady. Yeah. That, no, 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 no. I mean, you also have to work on yourself. Like, I, and this is something that I, I, it's really been disturbing me lately, and I'm not going to talk about it now as much. But I'm going to have to go into it sooner or later. And this is the thing. If you look at a picture of me from years ago, I was 440 pounds. Mm. I was a big man, right? I lost over 150 pounds, to be honest. Mm. Uh, it's not just lose 150 pounds, but I believe in self-improvement. And that was an easy, low-hanging fruit that I can improve myself. 
Yep. And, and that's what it is. Hey, grab, grab me a uh, seltzer while you're out there, bro. Yeah. So that was just the easiest way that I can improve myself. And also, how did I improve myself? I started brushing up. Hey, man, I, it was funny because I was like, you know, I'm not good at I'm not good at uh, Google Sheets as I want to. So let me just work on that. I, it's as soon as you start improving yourself, you start improving yourself in every aspect. I need to make some more money. What can I do to make money? Oh, I do this. All right, let me work on that. Self improvement yeah. is such a such a perfect way. And why do I bring this up with Johnny Depp? Because at one point Johnny Depp stopped working on himself, and he started settling. Because no man with that much position of power would settle for what exactly he that, for that was his weakness. So he, he stopped. He stopped adapting. That's why I'm all about AOD. Adapt or die, metaphorically, or ascend or devolve. And Don, Johnny Depp definitely devolved. And this is what happens. If you devolve, then these pariahs are going to destroy you. That's how, that's how it is. So you must ascend and adapt, always, as a man. There is no such thing as comfort. There's no such thing as settling. Because if yeah. you do that, you just you metaphorically just die. It's yeah. done. And also, one thousand percent agreed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And if you're uh, scared uh, of losing your money in like marriage and whatever, get irrevocable trust. There's ways where you could just like destroy these piranhas yes. that are trying yes. to get after your money, and then you know like test them to see like you know, look, I have irrevocable trust. You're not touching this money. Do you, you know? And challenge her with a prenup. See her reaction. <laughs> see her reaction. If she, yes. if she's anything but like, oh, I'm like, I don't care. You know, like I want to be with you. Then you know the answer. You know the fucking answer. You, you know my my dad. Uh, uh, God, I don't want to go too much into it. I got to be very careful. There was a trust involved. There's a family and trust involved. There's heirs land involved with my family. Oh, good mm -hmm. night, young geezer. Young geezer, good night. Good night, Thank everyone. You. I'm going to finish watching this tomorrow morning. Thank you for tuning in and staying, you know, up with us. Yeah, yeah. So, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and so, so when it all came down to it, my when my when my dad was uh, his time was up. It was just one, two, three. We got what we got. But guess what he did? He was very generous to like there was a house given to somebody. There was land given to somebody that he didn't have to. But I think that people don't understand is that when you're a provider, even when it doesn't work out after you take care of what you want to take care of, there's still some leftover sometimes. Yeah. If you're if, if you're if you're a, a proper, proper type of person. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to uh, Barry uh, telling me that. Uh, Yes, G is much better now. No longer getting dragged back into the ocean by Greenpeace. <laughs> Comment. <laughs> hey, I can I can take it. I know I was a big boy. I can take it. I I, I I'm a kind yeah, of we a big were, boy right now. Like so. I even I grew up. I was chubby as also, you know. And um, I remember getting made fun of and all that stuff. But honestly, I always said to myself, "Fuck them," you know. It's like. <laughs> No, really. You know, thank you for um, including the self development or the self improvement in there because it seems like a lot mm -hmm. of guys will focus on the complaining. And yeah, I understand. I can empathize. I really yeah. can. But that, that's it always why starts I say, with you. Yeah, it, that's why I promote AOD adapt or die. There's no middle ground. There's no bitching and adapt or die. You have to, or else you, you know where you're going to go. So mm -hmm. that that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, any species on this planet Earth doesn't that doesn't adapt, you just go extinct. Yeah. You just happen to be the most adaptable species. That's why we're all over this planet. So yeah. fun, fun fact there. Re-enter. Um, and what? One yeah, yeah, re-enter. So, uh, uh, so do you have? Do you have? We're, we're gonna uh, rotate one uh, one by one. Do oh, you yeah. have any? Uh, do you have any uh, final thoughts you want to share with us? Um. Essentially, I, I hope this uh, the, this this shows guys that look even when you get to a certain level, even if you get a certain amount of income, if you act like a dumbass, take drugs and don't have plans and don't vet the woman, Excellent. you're gonna. This is what this is what's gonna happen to you. There's pariahs out there. Don't don't think women are like fucking snowflakes. Some of them are very vicious, but they don't. They're not violent. They're just. They are masters of their emotions, cunning. right? They're cunning, cunning, cunning yeah. and extremely manipulative, and, and planning and scheming. And, oh yeah, and, and, and like I, I have to say, masterfully said, I agree with you one hundred percent. But this is something else that I agree with. You will find that once you get yourself together and keep your eyes open, you will actually be able to see it coming, and you'll know the difference. Absolutely, between, you'll know the difference. You, you, a, a you'll know woman. ten moves ahead. And then you'll yes. learn. You'll learn to just cut them out because it's like there are times when I get like a first date, and I knew immediately it's over. It's like yeah. I, I'm never going to see this woman again. 
This, it's just how it is. And right. you, you have to be no, no motions in that. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And one thing I really liked that I enjoyed that you were saying is that men on drugs. So when you're on drugs, people can take advantage of you. They can put you in compromising positions, which, mm -hmm. you know, uh, she did. Not that's not yeah. what I wanted to go over. Yeah. Um, and here's a, here's the thing about like these really hot women. The one ways of how guys, are, you know, like get them attracted to them is by drugs. But here's the thing that, that is like, it's like a curse. It's because like, once you get it hooked on and then uh, you might attract like the worst type, you know, because they might be bipolar, you know, they might have, which some in this case she was, yeah, or she exactly. is. Yeah. Some of the hottest ones are bipolar and they treat you like gold certain months and they treat you like shit other months. And it, you go through a roller coaster. I remember my, my last ex-girlfriend was bipolar and I had no idea until I realized like, wait a minute, why is she doing this? And then she, when she actually told me, I had to like cancel it. You know, that was like six years ago. So and, yeah. And so the statistics, hearing... yeah, the statistics for like, if you are with a bipolar chick, a lot of people get, su you know, the men actually, there's high suicide rates. It's brutal. Um, oh. shout, shout, so, shout out to self-made with the $2 super chat. Shift, Plato, tell them. What do you oh. Plato allegory of the cave. You can't uh, take people out of the cave. You know? Shift. Yeah. Um, before you explain that, I really get this question in. Is with your experiences of having a bipolar girlfriend, mm -hmm. does the all the events that Amber Heard, all the actions that Amber Heard has displayed, is that the same kind of um, situations that you've been encountering and that yeah. you've experienced? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't realize. I, you know, it took me a while to realize that. And um, because sometimes, you know, you, you get like so emotional and get attached. And then you get, or also the, the sex was just so fucking good. I, I just have to be fucking real. You know, like yeah. crazy chicks have the best sex, man. I'm telling you. And that, that to men is like a drug. And you're young and you're horny. It's like, fuck, you're not thinking straight. And you're drinking all the time. You know, I, I fell into that six years ago, you know. And then. I realized enough is enough. I was like, you know, I'm tired of this. And then I thought clearly, I'm like, okay, I need to end this, you know, for wow. my sanity. Yeah. Wow, man. Man, we, man, when we do this, when we do our next self improvement stream, you got to come on, bro. Oh yeah, sure, of course. Bro, we no, do no problem. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I had a great time just guesting on your stream just for a second. And Scott, I, I know Scott is. You know, he's, I, I, I think Scott enjoys having somebody that he can, like you guys speak the same language in a lot of ways. Yes. So. Oh, yeah. Like um, I planned once I finished the mass psychology, I'm doing like uh, on the, the market book. Mm -hmm. Then I'm doing on like a historical basis, then dark psychology and cults. And then I have like this section with AOD where awareness, reality, trans surfing, some other stuff that I, I look into, I, I'm all about incorporating things that are good for you and discarding the rest and thinking for yourself. So, Okay. All right. Well, we're going to uh, we're going to drop you down and we're going to rotate the panel. All right. Sounds good. And, and I, I, I thank you so much. For no problem. coming up and adding value. No problem. See you guys later. All right. Thank you. So let's uh, put up the shield. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Can you uh, do it? Got it. Where's the shield at? Right here. Yeah, our camera went out on I one can. of them. That's why. Huh? Oh, and thank you very much, Shift. Uh, Stoop Trends. Let me bring that up real quick. Like. Uh, I mean, we do reaction videos or whatever, but what really is my passion is helping other people with to self-actualize. So dive deep into their self-development and eventually their personal development, like learn skills where it's valuable out there in the open market where they can start to profit from those developed skills. Like right now, we made YouTube into a business. And I'm telling you, like three years ago, had zero skills at this. Didn't really even use social media, was trying to stay off social media. And um, just the act of developing myself, taking control of my mind, 
getting myself into actions by doing productive things and getting staying away from things like drugs because for a second there i was doing a lot of psychedelics mixing it with mdma and uh i mean here we are now so like really thank you shift astute trends for relaying that message and i want to keep promoting people that talk about self-improvement i like self-improvement for everybody but on this channel we really do promote for men's self-improvement yeah, yeah. so thank you again well it's my belief that men should talk to men about self-improvement women should talk to women about self-improvement uh welcome to the stream welcome to the stream caduceus how are you doing i'm doing fantastic i got a little bit of gin in me uh i got my guard <laughs> down because i i trust you guys i know that you're not going to make me look like a fucking asshole <laughs> no, 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 brother. I mean, I mean, first of all, it's fam. So, what can what can we do? What can we do as fam? I, yeah, just, I mean, I know you're a real one. I know you yeah. you're a real one. Scotty's a real one, even though you yeah. treat him like a Jamie. Uh, <laughs> God damn! Hey, you know who's the person that puts all this up together? Like, oh me. yeah, you. I'm the you, young man. Jamie. Yeah, uh, I'm the yeah. uh, the sweatshop boy. Jesus sweatshop Christ, boy. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey make just... some merch for it. Make, make yeah. that money back, yeah. man. That's the goal. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm going to get a shirt that says, pull that shit up, Scott. <laughs> yeah, pull that shit up, Scott. Yeah. Scotty. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, what do you think about this situation? Oh, look, I know you're... Did we answer self-made? Self-made with uh, Shift Plato, tell him. Yeah, 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 he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Shift told him. He schooled yeah. them all. So uh, I know you're a young man. I know you're a young man on a come up. Uh, yes, sir. And I just, what do you think about the the... the the scariness of this uh, of this situation here. I think it's definitely a cautionary tale. Um, again, I'm what you said on my show earlier about like she was who she was before she before he married her. Mm -hmm. She was who she was long before that. Um, I think that Johnny Depp, like he he definitely appears to be the victim in the situation, but he has his own pathological issues it sounds like he's got a lot of drug addictions um and some shit in his mind that he's got to deal with on his own time he's got a lot of, he has a lot of demons in there a lot of demons that. there yeah for sure so uh, he definitely has a lot to work on and it might have had him spiral down in the trap of marrying that chick yeah i mean <laughs> she definitely was a trap i mean it was that she, good. She's a honey, that she's he was willing to risk uh, risk it all. She's a honey trap, right? Yeah, yeah. She's, yeah, no, she's, I, a, she's, a, know, she's a honey trap. I, I will say that he has his PR during this trial has been fantastic. Yes. Like he's oh, been well. he's been snarky and charming during the the trial, making like well, little jokes. Well, I mean, he's been an actor. Thing. He's been an actor like my entire life, right? So he's been an actor our entire lives. He's been in the public eye. He understands how to do that. He, I think he probably understands how to be on camera a lot better than he understands how to be off camera. Oh, by the way, uh, shout out to you for saying Scotty runs a heroin <laughs> empire. <laughs> yeah, hey, yellow triangle, man. <laughs> yellow triangle, that's <laughs> Jesus it. Christ. We're but, going uh, there. But no, I, I think he probably does a lot better, uh, a, 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 lot, a lot better, like, in front of folks. I mean, I, I don't... I know musicians yeah. that when I played, I know jazz musicians were like this. They would be totally smacked out and just sick. And they get a little in them and they go play and they were fine. And then I, then after a while, as soon as this gig was over, they just had to go. They had to go and take care of themselves or they'd be sick. And I could never understand how they could get how they could get well for the gig, but right after the gig, they started getting sick. I never understood that. You know, I yeah. mean I've never had those problems. So so it's just one one of those situations, man. Yeah, for, uh, for what I see, he's, he's just he's a sick man who yeah. just got fucking taken advantage of at yeah. that point. And and like he's got a lot to work on in his own time. And it makes me curious with all these other celebrities involved that how common this this pathology is among among a lot of these celebrities. Like you mentioned that he was doing a bunch of drugs with Paul Bettany, and I just picture vision just snorting a line of coke in the bathroom. <laughs> So I yeah, that's why you turned to white vision. <laughs> yeah. It got powdered up. Should, should I grab it? Put the I snow bunny. Yeah, go vision. grab it. Go grab know. it. Yeah, oh, get vision in here. <laughs> yeah, or like oh, yeah. I, I, it was funny when he said that uh, he gave Marilyn Manson a, a pill to be more quiet. <laughs> he said that. Yeah, he said I gave. I didn't I know gave, Marilyn uh, Manson even speaks that much. He only seems oh, kind of quiet. 
Yeah. Marlon Manson's actually like talks a lot. Because uh, it's kind of, kind of yeah, do the show and tell, Grover. So, do so, the show and tell, This Grover. is one of my one of my fifty. Uh, Here, go, bring it up there. What, we should what, put an affiliate what, link for that. <laughs> yeah, what, what should we doing? You got to up the value on that one, especially after hearing Paul Bettany like yeah, the yeah. powder. Yeah, it's one of one of my one of my fifty. I collect them just for my son. Jesus Christ! I'll do it. I'll be the young Jamie for you right here. One of my fifty. Oh, you just going? This is a callback to a Matt Bayer too. I'm doing this one. Yeah, yeah. So, so I actually collect uh, Star Wars, GI Joe, and Marvel uh, six six inch uh, figures. I also have a Mac Dre bobblehead that nobody else has. Oh, Mac Dre, it's stupid, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Got a Mac Dre bobblehead. Vallejo, California. Yes, the V, (laughs) the V. So, uh, so, so, like knowing that they saying that, I would say this. My opinion is this. I just want to see if you agree with me. They both have. They both have have issues. Johnny Depp probably has more of a drug issue, more of an alcohol issue. She has more of probably, uh, probably mental issues than he does. Even though he probably has some too, in my opinion. Yes. I'm sure there was some drug use on both of them. Uh, but I think that Johnny Depp was an uh, an older Chad who still, you know kind of like making uh making a lot of a lot, a lot of compromises to be with a a woman he considers far too hot for him and I think that's what that really comes down to because if you slap me on my honeymoon I, I mean you can get an annulment yeah, <laughs> you it's, slap me it's on my over at that point yeah. yeah yeah that's one of the real times that I believe it's over by the way <laughs> oh yeah yeah is she is she worth it though caduceus what do you what do you think that what do you get absolutely out of not <laughs> I, I'm saying a scale of one to 30, 30 being an ultimately hot All right. of Patrice O'Neill scale, and one being a, a one being a slob moppet. What, what do you give her there? One to thirty. Uh, we, we can rate I, women I, here. I definitely, I definitely tap it. I definitely I tap, definitely it, tap it. My brother, um, <laughs> tap, <laughs> it's my brother. Scott's starting to love you guys, man. <laughs> definitely tap it you know uh um, yeah, hit it quit it was it gotta go like, I, at that point yeah but like with how crazy she is you definitely gotta quit it at that point you know i think if you were to find her in a bar and we were able to have a chance at our current standing right now to be able to hit it with her uh i think yeah. she probably would have fallen quite down low in the uh abyss there <laughs> so probably have to stay away from her yeah, she's probably a succubus, but uh, I mean, you know, but she got the smooth mm-hmm. cat. All right, so she's uh, got the elixir between the legs. So, so you have you have any uh anything you want to add? Any final words? Anything? Shout out your channel. Yeah, I, I was just talking about where she was aiming on uh, Johnny. She really likes the zygomatic arch. The uh, zygomatic arch. Jesus, she likes Christ. that please, zygomatic please, arch. Please All right, so so you have to you have to educate us on that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, in your face, like you say, like uh, on the upper side of your teeth, there's a bone called the maxilla, and then from the side, um, so like kind of where your cheekbone is, right where your cheekbone is, the, z- the maxilla and the zygomatic bone meet, meet, and they form the zygomatic arch. Um, so right at the cheekbone. Right okay, he's got yeah, yeah, kind of right about there. Yeah, yeah. Like if you look on the left picture, right where he's got the bruise on the left picture, that's right at the zygomatic arch, right there. Wow, um, right there. Yeah, but then again, he's got a little bit of uh, um, definitely like the 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 superolateral orbit. It's getting a bit of blue, getting a little bit of bruising on both sides. Um, so yeah, he's getting he's getting the the one two punch on both sides from this from this woman. He's he's, he's getting he's he's getting bopped around. I mean, you kind of like think about it. Like, uh, for me, <laughs> so. There was so much money involved that he was willing to endure the abuse. That's what I'm going with. That's the only reason why. I'm thinking economics first. Um, I don't think he had any more feelings for her per se. Well, well now, Scott, now Scotty, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm with you on this one because you're assuming logic above all. Like, it's better to assume that we're ignorant versus him being stupid. Yeah. So yeah. I think I think it's I, that's a good stance to have. I, I don't know is probably the biggest cop out, but it's the one I'm going to take here. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, and, I mean, yeah. Like she she might have she might have worked out from one of her roles and got like a bit of get a bit of gains and just started smacking Johnny around. Yeah, yeah. She she says she says I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you why I got this Aquaman role. <laughs> you know how I like redheads. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
<laughs> Scott Scott's willing to throw it all dude, away. Yeah, dude, dude, you're you're, <laughs> dude, you're trying to replace Jamie here, Grover. You better get a retainer on Scott, man. He's got these <laughs> articles up quick. <laughs> oh, that's a bad picture of her, though. Low yeah. resolution, but she does look like a little bit more muscle mass on her. Maybe there's some padding. Or she, I don't know. Or she just did some squats. Yeah, she just did squats. She got some. Uh, yeah, she got a little pump in. Yeah, most likely. She did some. Squ- they probably put her squats. on something like Anavar if she's down for that. <laughs> she put her on Anavar. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't surprise me, right? Like she put her on Anavar. I, I mean, mean, they definitely they definitely do uh, juice these people up before their yeah. roles. But I, yeah, sim- the simpler thing was give her a body double or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. So thank you, Caduceus, for coming on and sharing your thoughts. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you, you for having me. It's always yeah. a fun time coming on this podcast. Always chill. Yeah. Great guests. Great content. Um, great. My channel, my channel is the vital message when I'm not trolling Grover and Scott. <laughs> Uh, I, I like to do a lot of interview content. Sometimes I mix in a little uh, Pokemon stream. Uh, I, I, I like to mess around. This YouTube thing's a hobby <laughs> for me. Yes. Uh, but I like to I like to have fun with the viewers. I like to have fun with the guests. I might be having a stream tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time. So keep your uh-huh. eyes keen for that one. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it, it, it'd be great to have you on. I like to have peace before war where I have the interview session for maybe about an hour. And then I open up the panel for guests to ask their questions to the, the special mm-hmm. guest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, I, I've seen it. I, I actually, uh, um, I actually, yeah, was, you uh, actually were a guest. Yeah. I actually, I actually think your interview skills are, are, are top notch. If you didn't have a, uh, if you didn't have a, a career path that you were dedicated to, I would, I would definitely be, in your ear a lot more. Well, I'm, but, uh, I'm, I'm glad that that's successful because I'm gonna have to interview a lot of people in my my future career. Yeah. Um, so. yeah well, well, you know, Homeland Security will be happy that you're developing these skills right now. Yeah. Maybe maybe I can like open up a clinic overseas and then work with the feds on the side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how you do it, man. Maybe do that's, that. That's how you do it. That's that side. That's that side hustle. <laughs> my, oh yeah, baby. Bro- my brother, thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad you had a little gin, uh, you know, to uh, loosen up. Hey, I got to cope up. with these classes, man. The finals yeah. are coming up in a couple weeks. Yeah, I got to get ready. Well, well, I, 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 I lo- logically, I think that you will do what it takes to get ready and, and to be successful. Oh, absolutely! I crammed the hell out of it. Like, as self-made, like I was in the Discord doing flashcards. Sound like I was casting spells. Talking about all the forms of like neoplasm. <laughs> <laughs> As a primal se- primal says, finals maxin. Oh yeah, Shout primal pr- primal. primal price studies a lot of the same stuff that I studied. Uh, so maybe maybe I, I I should hit up primal to be a study buddy. You never know. <laughs> study buddy. Study buddy. All right, man. We're gonna uh, rotate and just go in order. But thank you so much for jumping up. Yes, hey, I appreciate you, you having me. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's always, it's always, you know, you know, the inner circle is always welcome, though, sir. Oh yeah, the the Grover Illuminati. I'm the Grover proud Illuminati. Proud to announce <laughs> that's, it. That's that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put up the Caduceus shield right now. We're gonna bring on the next guest, and we're gonna drop you down, Caduceus. Thank we're you, sir. Drop you down. Thank you. Have sir. a good night. night, fellas. Great study. Oh, you got him. I'm gonna add. And. Heard versus the people. Yo, 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 yo. What up? Hey, what's going on? What up, what up, Grover? What up, Scott? How you doing, Marcus? Yeah. How you doing? Good, so, man. so what are your thoughts on this crazy shit in the bed situation we got here? <laughs> uh no, nah, man. I just nah, think it's uh I think it sucks because it guys sucks because guys. They usually want to like. like there, there, there you go. We'll put up the shit in the bed just for reference. Go on. Oh lord. Oh, lord. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, guys want to like. Wanna, like they, they love love idealistically. idealistically. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're right. So I so think I genuinely, genuinely, he was trying to fall for her, fall for her, but she just was looking like that. I fall for her. Damn. But you know. Chocolate you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When I when when, <laughs> when, when I look when at Johnny Depp, it's kind of like Mickey Rourke. 
just minus just the facelift. Minus facelift. Uh, uh, and and he's going through he's some going things through. right now. Some uh, so, some mental so issues and uh, the, medication the medication and help him. Yeah, she just made it worse. Made it worse. So, um, let me think. Formulate a question right here. What do you think of his drug use? And how do you think that has affected his relationship with Amber Heard? Uh, my I, opinion, I, opinion I, yeah, I believe he started before he was with her. This is my opinion, though. My opinion, though. Mm-hmm. And I think with her, with her, it just it just had to max had out more. Max out more. Oh Lord, who's oh, that? Yeah. Oh, bring Mickey Rourke. Oh no, yeah, oh, man, oh. this man. Why? Right here, right here, Mickey. <laughs> Bro. Oh yeah, here you go, right here. Yeah, that's. Oh no, oh no, dude, I love making. Hold on, but look how it used to look. Look how it used to look, though. Like, hey, I like this is right here. Like, oh, well, damn, that's her. Like his <laughs> face rating, right? So, so the no, chat saying good. that we got a little echo on, on you. Uh, do, 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 do you have uh, anything open in the background? Better now. You guys hear it now? Guys hear it now? Uh, I, I don't know, Chad. Is there still no, an echo? I, I don't. I don't hear too much of an echo for my thing. It might be just enough because you're most likely using your phone. So yeah, I'm on my phone right, right now. Yeah, right. Oh, I apologize. You guys want to drop down? I'll drop down. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. I but, um, finish your thought though. Yeah. No, well, I was just gonna say, bro. Um, like, do you I, I do I believe that he will win the gold case. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't think it wasn't lot of money because the damage is already done. Mm. However, However, I know I've heard that I've Disney heard has been kissing his ass to come back on Disney. Well, they should. Uh, they should. That last Pirates did poo poo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for yeah. Amber Heard, Amber Heard, I think maybe I think enough maybe would be just, hey, I apologize I and I admit for taking the dump on the bed and promise that they'll never do it to another man. Uh, and then, <laughs> uh, no, she, 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 I, I mean, I, 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 I don't think that's enough to uh, rehabilitate her. No, well, I'm no, not, I'm not, not that either. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. And hopefully, it has and some hopefully consequences has for what she did for, a, for abusing and abusing taking advantage of the system. But, but we both we know, that know that the system, the system is, uh, is capitalistic. capitalistic. True. That's I mean, the court systems are making some money off of this. For sure, absolutely, absolutely. And, the, and the news, and, and the media. media. So, uh, well, it's a huge economy. I mean, you should see the amount of YouTube, um, YouTube content that's made off of this. So it's yeah, just of course, a huge economy. Yeah, of course. And and I I think like you know advertising economy, YouTube economy, it's very, it's 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 very uh, interesting. It's very interesting, but I mean that's the way it goes because we talk about these subjects and we all want to uh, we all want to children horse these subjects and try to get some self improvement in and try to get some learnings in and what can men learn from this? Make them learn. Like I said, I mean if she had these these traumas in her background as a child, you should at least notice and be armed with this when you go when you go and uh, go and marry her, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, I agree. I'm um, gonna so, get out of the way and uh, help you move on the line. Okay, well, have a long day. all right. Well, well, thank you so much for coming up and sharing your thoughts. We totally appreciate you. We're gonna drop you down, and we're gonna Absolutely. bring up our next guest. Guest, but of course, you know, you come know, back anytime. Come, come back and holler at us, man. And uh, sure. I think the guys want you to change that smoke alarm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Freaking primal was on my ass about that shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It's more than one day. Yeah, more than like, one day, dude. Yo, nah, no, I dude, changed look, it. Look, I changed it, Grover. Men don't do that. <laughs> men get it fixed, bro. Get off the stream and go fix that shit. We gotta let you go. Bye. I got you. Beep. Guys, <laughs> thank you for coming up, Marcus. Peace out. All right, All and right. we got the man, Mister Deacon Deke. Little. What's up, Deke? How you doing, man? man? He didn't even put up the Caduceus shield, but he's been in here, so it's all, yeah. good. It's all good. It's all good. Man, you 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 on mute, uh, bro? You're on mute, sir. Yeah, you're a mute cell. Ah, what did Primal say? It's day four. It's day four. Um, 
Let's see, Deke. Can you still can't hear you? So what I'm gonna do, Deke? I'm going to remove you, and then I'm gonna re-add you, and you do the same too. All right. So, Deke, add yourself back in. Yeah, add yourself back in. Add yourself back in, and we can uh, we can bring you up. While we're waiting for Deke to come up, man, man, it's such a crazy situation. What's really a crazy situation is that that uh, smoke alarm been beeping for for days. That's what he said. I don't know. I don't know, Marcus. Uh, Deke, while we're waiting to add you back in, we're gonna bring a bring up the, our next guest so we can start winding it down. Did you bring up that Caduceus shield? But I'm gonna bring up the shield. Laxican, how are you doing, sir? Everything is copacetic. How's it going, bro? Oh man, it's going good. How was how are you doing out there in uh across the water? Across the water in, in Shaolin. Yes. AKA Taiwan, AKA Taiwan. It's yeah. going good, man. Everything is lovely. It's uh, what's it? It's a, uh, what's it? Wednesday, um, almost noon right now. Gonna getting ready to go teach a couple classes, but you know yeah. I had to tap it, tap in with my boys, man. On, I, on the I, network, yeah. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. I, I see you. You're getting busy. I caught your, I caught uh, some of your stream. I have to admit, I couldn't catch it all where you were over there. That's with, all good. Uh, with Jay Takashi, but you know, think I was I was going uh I was busy, I was working, and then I was working out, so I was like I was in and out on you, but I you know I see you and I'm always trying to support man and and I, I think that you know you have an interesting channel uh and I, I you know we, I, I like to hear more perspectives about traveling because when I was doing it when I was out and about it was about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot different now. When I was on about, like, I can tell you what I faced, but of course, I want the young, the young bucks. Even though we're close to the same age, I call you a young buck because you're doing it now and not then. Uh, yeah. um, I'm probably yeah. older than you, Gro <laughs> Grover. <laughs> no, yeah. Most no, likely, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. You told me, you told me, your, you told me your age the other day. I'm, yeah. Okay. 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 I got, I got a few uh, years on you. I, all I, right. I, I, I actually, I got about about three or four years on you, but uh, okay. Anyway, uh, what do you think about this Amber Turd situation? <laughs> Amber Turd was it Scott with the with the big turd on the right by her face, man? Oh yeah, right that's how her, we're doing. Man. Right by her pretty face, face man. This is, that's, that's ruins what, that's it for how, me. That's how we do yeah. it. Man. And you think she's into that yeah. kind of stuff? Like, uh, what is it called? What, what agro, she, agro, um, what I think it's called uh, Celia. Or? What if she's a poop cell? Oh, yeah, a poop cell. <laughs> I remember hearing called Scat Play or something. Scat Max. Scat Max. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Her, I mean, her I favorite wouldn't doubt it. Her favorite what? Was, her favorite show was The Human Centipede back in the day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, uh, uh I'm sure they do that, like what the those sheiks in uh, Dubai. That's the story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The urban, the urban legend. Like they, these in, IG girls go out there and get shitted on, or get pooped on. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. It's, it, we've already yeah. lost yeah, it. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a free for all for now. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Trust me. Okay, uh, but, but so in terms of this Amber Turd situation, man, like, um, I think Johnny's gonna win. You know, he's gonna take the W. She's gonna take the L. She's already took the L in the court of public opinion, which yeah. in a lot of ways is bigger than actually civil cases. And um, and I think it's a good eye opener to a lot of men and women, but especially men, that no matter what your status is, if you're not paying attention and not thinking critically about your surroundings and especially your intimate relationships, you can get shitted on. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good. It's a good thing that this, there was it's a good that it's out there. Yeah, it was. No, no, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I think I think that not only is it good that it's out there, I think that like, you know, when you lose focus and you stop <laughs> improving and you stop going, uh and you stop growing. Going. Then, yeah, you stop yeah, it's it's been a while. We've been on for 
We, we did a yeah. story before this. So you stop growing. What happens is that you start settled. You start not even settling. You're just blindsided by things that you would have never been blindsided for before. Right. And, and so, like, I mean, c- come on. We didn't hear about Johnny Depp going through these problems in, in 2000. Like when he was when he was on a uh, on blow oh, on a, on a movie blow. blow I mean, yeah. he was probably on blow then. <laughs> on a movie blow, right? We didn't hear Johnny Depp, all of these stories about Johnny Depp because that Johnny Depp was a hot the hot chat that everybody wanted to be with, right? Yeah. And so and now you have a situation where like you know he's an older gentleman, he's in his fifties, and I, I believe that he looks at these other women and he's like, excuse me, these other men or other women because she she dated a woman before and says, man. I'm in competition with all of these folks. And yeah, you know, I never he probably he never had to worry about competition before his whole adult life. And now he does. And I think that, right. you know, probably fueled some of his drug abuse, probably fueled some of his his mental issues also that he already had. You know, his his stress that he had that he never worked on. Yeah, yeah. And in this movie, he <laughs> he got uh, corrupted by Penelope Cruz too. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> his downfall. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, and, and so well, and so well, I mean, she could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, it's just like, stop. Ooh, that is right right there. Let, me, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Let's take a look. Uh-huh. Look, look, look. Uh-huh. look at his uh-huh. life, though. Like, his life, man. Like, um, I'll get a little mystical here for a second. Bear with me. But there's like some people who study something called uh, synchro mysticism. It's just, it's a pseudoscience, Caduce. So bear with me. <laughs> uh, before, before, you, before you go on, Primal Studies, have a good night. Yeah, have a good night, Primal. Thank you. Thank you for stopping Good night, by. Primal. Thank hey, you thanks for helping me out on my interview. Yeah, for sure. So Sorry, go I was going to I was gonna say, like, the secret mysticism stuff, the basic crux of it is that um, a lot of these actors represent, like, uh, archetypal uh, energies that we've seen throughout history, you know, like the hero, the heroine, the... Uh, you know, yeah, the Joker, the Jester, yeah. all that shit. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. yeah. And if you look at synchro mysticism, like, so if you look at Johnny Depp, a lot of times, basically, he's playing the same character, in my opinion, all the time. You know, this this Joker, Jester type character. True, you look true. at Fear, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, uh, Willy Wonka, Jack Sparrow, mm. uh, Mad Hatter, like, Edward Scissorhands, like, weirdos, right? And and you, you see how it's playing out in his life, and just like that 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 blow scene where he's getting fleeced by Penelope Cruz, you know he he went in there wide eyed and uh, heart open, and he got you know he got taken advantage of, and it's yeah, happening in his actual life. Art is entertaining, uh, imitating imitating life. life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's funny. Syn- yeah. Speaking of synchronicities, yeah. <laughs> you and I were thinking about the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. See, you've seen it too, right? And if you yeah. like, I remember reading something a long time ago about uh, Mr. Depp, about how he was before the age of fourteen. He said he tried every drug known to man, right? So he's he's been at it for a minute in in terms of drugs. He's moved around like many times when he was younger. He said he lived in. He said in one year he moved a hundred times with his mom when he was a teenager. So this guy's lived a life, you know, and like. <laughs> and and he, I don't know, man. Maybe he's just tired, bro. And he just uh, screw I it. So. I mean, screw it, man. It's like the hedonic yeah. pleasure, right? You're like living a life mm-hmm. of hedonism all the time, um, right? And Non-stop. eventually, now he's kind of bored of everything. Yeah, right. right. Well, I mean, when you leave that hedonist, hedonistic lifestyle, man. Let me tell you something. I've been in some places where I was living wild, and. I looked around and everything was bored and it happened quick, bro. Everything was boring and it happened quick. It was just like a, an a, an average life. It was so weird to me. Mm. It was yeah, the so mundane weird. was boring, right? And, and things mundane. that were exciting. I, I mean, I, I used to go to I used to go to uh, New Orleans uh, every almost every weekend, and it got boring to me, bro. Like, like people, people think that that's weird, but it got boring to me. Uh, man, in, in Thailand, I, I would go go cruise around Bangkok, and I was like, ah, I'm ready to go home to work. So it's just one of those situations where, you know, where uh, where it's one of those situations where I actually believe that there's a lot of value in not getting too high or not getting too low. I believe there's a lot of value in that. I also believe there's a lot of value in finding ways to fix yourself and finding ways to repair yourself and finding ways to get better. 
You know, I believe right. that all the time. One of the reasons why I do this, I mean, this is a new challenge for me. And but I also also like if you look at our streams when we first started, man, we were all over the place, and now we're we're focused. We can really produce a good show, and that's because we really worked on it. Like there there's there's pain, but the pain is worth it. So uh, I see it's paying yeah. off. You guys get better and better and better every day. Well, that's every stream. Stream. That's yeah. what Scott. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> chemistry. Where our yeah. chemistry is getting better, and yeah. you know, with Grover, actually, he was the one that came out. Good night, Jada. Um, he was really good with the, the networking, and uh, mm -hmm. brought me to you guys because honestly, like, I tried to stay away even from Grover. <laughs> I'm like, Grover, why are you calling me? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to do things. I'm trying to yeah. be by myself. But um, <laughs> yeah, so it, we're, we are definitely a powerful combination. So thank you for that, that compliment. You're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that one well, one thing about that I Amber Heard shit real quick. Um, that, that lifestyle, that lifestyle he's living, like keeping up with the Joneses, like because uh, he showed uh, Brad Pitt, Leonardo. Like I'm sure it's very competitive, and no matter what girl you're dealing with, because he picked an actor to make his wife, right? Yeah, she's 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 quote unquote corrupted. You can say tainted in the sense of like <laughs> just that ego narcissism type of stuff, which makes them great actors, but um. So if he would have picked a farm girl from Nebraska or some girl from a village in Romania, so not girl, excuse me, young lady. Yeah. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some young, young, you, you, yeah. Young lady from Romania, village or whatever. Maybe maybe he wouldn't have had these problems. Or at least maybe they would have been put off for years and years until she was corrupted by Hollywood. Right. Yeah. So right. yeah, always right. always check out your situ situation, see what's going on, what's really going on. Man, and that, yeah. that's that's I, I rock with you, man. I rock with you. Yeah. You know, uh, before we close out, I really, I was really struck by the story that you told me about how you and your lady came. Uh, you told, not told me, but I felt like you were talking to me because I was on. A, I'm talking to you, Grover. Show. You, Grover. Everyone's there, but I'm, I'm looking yeah. at you, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. <laughs> but uh, you talk about how you met your wife and how everything and how it was really, uh, it was, it was really like you really knew it was right, and like you guys like. You were married like six months after you decided to marry her, or about six mm -hmm. months. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to screw. Yeah, it was six life. months. You're right. Yeah, and, and one of the things I said is that if you're out there with intention, when you know it's right, you know it's right. And intention doesn't just mean intention. Like you're out. People don't understand what intention means. Like oh, I'm out here. I need to get married. I need to get married. That's not intention. That's desperation. I'm talking about intention. Yeah. Like you know what you're doing. You're focused. You want. You you know you want something, and even if you don't know exactly what you want, when you when you when you feel it. When you get satisfied, that means you develop yourself enough to recognize it. And I think that 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 really happened. Now, here's the thing, the reason why I say this, because sometimes you don't ever have to develop yourself if you get padded with money, you get padded with status, you get padded with things. And I think that's what happened with uh, with, with, with uh, Mr. Depp. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, we got, yeah, we got, yeah. We got, we got one of your oh. got your videos up. Oh, God. I mean, that stinky tofu. Wow. Yeah, that's like a I don't yeah. like uh, well, I bet you it's better smelling. You, you, than need, to, you need to come too. here, turd. Yeah, see, that's that's the inside of the stinky tofu right there. If you look at that video, that's my uh, that's a psychedelic the side. The chemistry. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, well, that's you know, Frisco stuff. Frisco. You know that's, like that, no, that's from the bay. Yeah. <laughs> you do, huh? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, well, yeah, what so, is this? <laughs> what are, what are we doing here? Yeah, right? We're not gonna show no naked. Don't worry about it. I'm uh, trying try to get us. Hey, hey, uh, so. Uh, yeah. Look, look, man, we're, we're getting kind of late here. We're going to roll. Yeah, go up. ahead. You need to go to sleep. We're going to bring Do up, uh, we're going to bring up Deacon. Deacon Little right. is here. So Peace, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Deke, you back. Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you. Oh, here we go. Having audio issues. <laughs> I was sitting back playing my guitar until I saw my boys online again. I decided to visit y'all. How y'all doing today, fellas? We are doing great. How are you, sir? Pretty yes, good. Y'all saved the best for last. We had the great. to. Hey, you know what I'm saying, we man? We had to. How, how you First doing, man? First of all, I'm doing yes. great. First of all, when I saw her in that movie, Drive Angry, that's the Amber Heard I like. After that, you know, she started getting Hollywooded up. But you got to say with Johnny, he was simp at first sight, dude. <laughs> saw her and he had to he had to claim it because you man, heard I would have done the same thing dude he said I, he's like I gotta get that off the market bro 
yo, they don't know what I'm they don't know what they got here, man. All of a sudden, she's shitting in his bed. I was like, what? And I'm like, okay. I'm like, it's like not even a year of marriage. Roll Next with you know, it, you wake up. Roll with it. Dude, how can you? I don't know if how well, how would you how would you guys deal with that, man? Wake up in the morning, all of a sudden squish. Oh man. Okay, so if, if my money's involved like that, the millions and millions of dollars, then I would try to play the long game as long yeah, as I can until I secure the assets. Now, if she's doesn't got anything and I she doesn't have anything over me, then uh yeah, we're gonna just you know kindly get away from each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a vacation. I'll be back. Yeah. I'll live in the hotel for a while I, while you suss that, things out. I definitely would record it though and take snapshots and pictures and <laughs> like uh, well, he was a smart. crazy story he was, to tell. He was smart because some things you can believe and some things you, you can believe. So if he runs his boys, yo, my girl is crazy. She took a dump in my bed and, and, and like, dude, you lying, man. Look at this. Oh, he's not lying. Are you sure you didn't do it? You know what I mean? But dude, yeah. he's he's he, i mean i johnny's the man yeah look at that look at that dude you throw them <laughs> sheets out after that one dude that's oh, not rewatchable but what do you do with the bed man like all right so let's say you throw the sheets out the bed is still there man you oh, gotta get a man. whole new bed man I, oh, i'm telling you if you, you shit my if you shit my bed what johnny don't have a bed look look i got a bed cost 550 dollars from costco yeah johnny's bed cost five six thousand dollars I ain't got a five hundred. So poops in your bed. Beautifulest <laughs> woman. Believe me, she's good looking. Don't get me wrong. I remember. I remember. I remember. I love that. When I first saw this chick, she was on Never Back Down, one of my favorite fight movies. Let's see Never Back Down. Let's see her. She was uh, on Never Back Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she was. Check it out. Uh, check it out. One check of it out. First movie. She was a little heavier other. though, too. A little chunkier. It's fine. You know, chunkier. you gotta like them in different sizes. <laughs> then she got Hollywood it up. She had to get the work. She had to do the work. Let me click some of these off. Um, uh, let me go here. We just got uh, 35 never, pic- We got 35 pictures down. of turds. <laughs> you looking like oh I can't believe God. she did this because honestly, oh she was my. one of the the like like um one of the few female actresses that I found very attractive. So and, that and then didn't of course surprise me. Look at that. She's all crazy. This is when she's got the baby fat on her. When she was young. Look at yeah. that. Johnny yeah. saw that. He said, first of all. Well, he, well no, he saw in the, the rum diaries. Rum yeah, diaries. the rum. She was a little more seasoned by then. Yeah, <laughs> she's more seasoned. Oh, 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 back a little bit. She said she was seasoned. Look at that! Look at that little. She was getting ready. Oh, she so was like, to... so he met her. Uh, so Working. he recounted a story of how she had a scene on the beach, and she was supposed to be a nude in that scene, but she didn't end up becoming nude because a bunch of people were crowding around her. So he saw her there. And and he was then, like, oh my God. Then they had a shower scene together. Oh, and that yeah. one shower scene was the actual first scene they kissed with each other. And that's where he said that <laughs> uh, he that, became that enthralled, the enthralled with this woman. Hey, she, this. She, she, she put on the right moves. She did the right things, you know, to tell knowing this guy. Right here, Remember, right here, right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's you know, it. Look, that's, that's the moment it. he simped. You see it in his eyes? It's, I see the it's, 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 like, it's just, it's just, <laughs> he just, oh my God, I have to have him. I got to get it. I got to get it. Look Who at he's so recalling it. Uh, 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 look, look, <laughs> look, how look, look how he's looking. Look how he's looking. He's looking like, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, all right, right, right there. Oh, you okay, never got to stop it. Right there, you know what he thought? You what? know what he thought? He thought, he thought, man, I ain't going to lie, though. I, I still hit it. I still, <laughs> after she, like, after she, I got to have more. He's like in the back after the hotels, you know, they had got there with their he's like he's laying there. I I gotta have more of this. Cause you know, yeah. most girls like that hot are not gonna reveal their crazy side right away. Yeah. You, it you takes know, a lot of guys. Under, yeah. She starts to like do like remember he was telling the story. She was um fixing his drink and taking his boots off one day. And he's so, like, Yeah, one day I'm he's like he's like, one day I come home and she's like on the phone doing whatever. So I just take my boots off, you know, and, you know, I was chilling about to make my drink. Then she looked at me and said, what are you doing? And he's like, uh, just getting a drink because she's used she's grooming him, you know, yes. doing things, you know, it's work, you know, giving that little bit of those start signs. So we all we're all guilty of it. You know, that, I, you know, he's not the only one. We're all guilty of it. 
You know what I mean? You know, you, you try to you see little red flags pop up and you kind of dust up like, ah, she'll be all right. Oh, maybe yeah. she's having a bad day. Maybe, you know, she probably, maybe you know, the, the, the goldfish died or something. She'll be <laughs> <all right. laughs> she didn't right get her, she didn't get the right ice cream at the store, so she's probably acting out. You yeah, know yeah, how that yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's come on. Let's yeah, let's, let's, come on. let's not let's not get too crazy. She's all right. Let's not yeah, get yeah. crazy. Uh, oh, let, she, let me, you know, he's probably told his friends, oh, she's real mad today, man. She's just, you know, yeah. she's on that side. It's time, just today. She's not usually like this. Hey, let me, glass let me, bottles. Hey, somebody <laughs> wants me to ask you updates on Aquaman 2. And Yo, Amber Heard. she is, this is the reason why um, Momoa joined his side. This whole fiasco is costing him money. They cut Ooh. the movie down to 10 minutes for her role. Everyone, oh. they already got. Three million signatures to get her out the movie. And yeah, have a I, place. I think somebody somebody had dropped in the chat earlier. It was three point five. Yeah, 3. 5 it's million. rising. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's crazy. That's they want crazy. her out. So like three million. All right. So let's let's think about this logically, right? Let's think about yeah. this logically. Let's say that three million people now. Now all movies are about money, right? Exactly. So how much? So so I'm gonna just say three million signatures. Let's say half. Let's say 1.5 million of those people actually say we're not going to see the movie, right? So, so what's 1.5 times? So what's the average movie ticket? Like uh, 14 whoa, 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 what? bucks. Well, now 1450 so, dollars. So, so let's say 12, right? Yeah. That yeah, that's side. that's right there. 1.5 million to 12. That's 18 million dollars just off the top. Jesus. I mean, and, and 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 you have to understand that these sci-fi movies they have to make their nut. They got to make three hundred million that the, the first couple of weeks, or they're done. Are they, or they, or they're, they're going to be on? I mean, Shelf. they're going to be on HBO Max. Not even that; they'll be on the dollar bin at that point. Ooh, the dollar? They don't. They still got the dollar bin. Ooh, God, so, so, right? The Seven Eleven Special, bro. Seven Eleven yeah. Special. But oh, yeah, uh, she's costing the money. Costing them a lot of money right now. Uh, let, let me get through a few of the chats, then we're gonna get back to you. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go at Jada's perspective. You're still rocking with us. Oh yeah, Jada perspective perspective still here. She said, "Laugh a lot. I'm high, so I keep forgetting to tag people at the fight that message." <laughs> right on. Uh, uh, I don't care productions. I missed the Taiwanese night markets. Uh, I did a vital message. Says your shroom maxin. Uh, Astute Trends wants to say what's good, David Little. That's my boy shifting to the you know shifting a new um and new uh, levels of life and money, man. Yes, yes, yeah. Shift, shift is shift, shift, shift is an astute person, man. That's a the vital message. Is we're partying in the Discord after the stream for sure. Would love to see everyone there. Partying in the Discord. I'll bring the drinks. <laughs> and, and so, uh, and let's see where else we got. Uh, uh, wow, man! See, they're talking about it. Uh, Aquaman two. Okay, oh, she looks drunk right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she looks a mess right there. Yeah, Quick, no, get she, a cup of coffee. I mean, her eyes reveal a lot of different states. I wish we had Vital Message back on here, but I know he's got to be studying. I'm sure he can like got to be studying give us some insights. Study or drinking. Like you see that man's body language right there? He's like, I got, we got to deal with this. Oh, God. Uh, well, I mean, and this is the thing. I, I think, like, so this may be another another situation, another case of the sunk cost fallacy here where he feels like he went so far with her and so far, like, publicly with her because he met her publicly. They're both mm -hmm. public people that he's just like, I can't, I, I got to try to fix this or I got to go through it. Uh, and remember, and, this is not her. Sorry to cut you off. This is not her first offense. She had a girlfriend where they had expunged her record, apparently, of her having domestic issues with a girlfriend. Yep. So this you ain't her right. first rodeo. Wow. Just a higher stakes person, but uh, this who's, ain't her first rodeo, man. Who's her girlfriend? She's a, you know, I, I mean, it's a, uh, well, it's a Bianca, Bianca Booty. <laughs> yeah. Bianca Booty. Uh, that's her latest relationship with cinematographer Perry Quietly Dated. Uh, the two broke. Uh, it's, I'm not sure. Is this one? No, nah, no, nah, it must have been. I think it was uh, a little bit before. Yeah. So, so her been, her been on, on a, her, her been out. Yeah, there. yeah, so, yeah. There we yeah go. Here we go. To see it. So this is not her. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So yeah. Amber Heard arrested right. in 2009, 2009 charge of hitting, hitting girlfriend. girlfriend. Wow. Yep. Yep. 
So she's a she's a type that gets away by being savage. To see ya, to see ya, to see ya, Van Rie, November sixteenth, nineteen or twenty ten. 2010. So it was a year before she got with Johnny Depp. Right? Uh, Johnny Depp was about 16, 2016, I think. Oh, yeah. so 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 here's the here's the thing though. Like, it's it's a lot. It's a lot mm. less. Mm. A lot, a, a lot less. Uh, it's a lot less attention going to be on her for domestic violence than a man. You know, I mean, I mean, it's just like you don't hear a lot of, and there's, it's very common. Domestic violence between same-sex couples are very, very common. It's very common. Police, uh, police officers, I, 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 police officers I work with at the gym, with, I worked with at the gym would tell me that all the time. That it's one of the things that it's not just, uh, it, it's, it's not just about the, uh, it's not just about you know a man and a woman or what you would call traditional couples, exactly. but same-sex couples also have a lot of, of violence that goes on with them, uh, and so. Like I, I believe it. The thing is that a lot of folks don't don't really um, you're not you're not going to see that come to the forefront because I mean honestly no nobody like a lot of times like two girls fighting right, two girls fighting unless somebody seriously hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to listen to this real quick. All right, give us one second here. Yeah, sure. Oh, he looks like he just towed it up. <laughs> Does it have audio? Oh, is it? It's on mute. Sorry, guys. I'm going to replay it again. She will hit the wall hard. Four exclamation points. And then later down What's this wall? Things are reacting in real time. Or... From her. Did I read that right? Yeah, it has Jackson audio. Compound. Oh, that's a oh, nice injection. Okay. You with the cookie. And this wasn't the first time that you talked about Amber hitting the wall hard. Let's pull up to the 213. There's Amber hitting the wall hard based on the we'll accusation the that she threw up. up. I'm sorry, I was talking. Is that all right? You'd, you'd, um, you'd good have question, that. Johnny. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy, sir. Oh my God! Yo, oh, he should man. be smoking before he hits the, hits the camera, dude. Oh. He should have he should have got himself a little sober for this. A big time. She's not gonna be on. Oh he's, man! He showed me. A he's drinking and smoking. He was That's what I'm saying. Oh you don't God. care. You don't care, Deke. Um, but I mean, imagine this is a, a my big size. time Hollywood star right here. He's reacting in real time to the case. Uh, and what was it? Was human fecal matter. <laughs> Dude, he's like, that's right, Johnny. I smashed you in the back lot. I bet he probably bust out and say that. I smashed oh, you, Johnny. He's like, he's, like, he's, like, he's like, Johnny, the only reason no, no. I didn't smash is because of you. I mean, we really got to react to this, though. He's the yeah. star of Aquaman. Yeah. He's reacting yeah. to this whole court case. Right, right. And he's going like, it, he sh he's getting uh, comedy right now, right? But in the back of his mind, he's thinking, the moment I get off this camera, I'm going to make my moves. Yeah, that's what I would think. Right. Why would he even do that, dude? You gotta be crazy enough to see if she's beating somebody up. I'm like, nah, man. Hey, chill out with that. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not, let's not do that. She would hit the wall. Oh, jeez, would hit the wall hard too. Yeah, hit the wall hard. He was a management term. <laughs> hit the wall hard. Oh man. Okay. Good, cool. Manager. I just really wanted to Sorry. find that. I couldn't believe he actually said it on on on. Look at all that, guys. If he says my looks Mac, you know, my looks rating is higher than hers, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <Jesus speaking. laughs> Here Johnny on the saying I was a blue pill sim. <laughs> oh my God. I think I'm starting to cringe a little like, oh crap. Oh, bro. Every turn was too here. much. Oh dude, there's so many. There's so, so many. many. Do it, do it. How oh, many? it's brutal. It's all right. Brutal, is the bottom man. message still in here? Yeah, he's right. Yeah, he's just commenting. He's Let's see. Is that you, Vital Message? Um, Dude, it's terrible, man. Bad. First, Will and Jada. Vital, if that's you, can you please uh, drop something in the private Here. chat? 
Jesse there Austin. he is. Somebody don't give us a, a words. Hello, hello. I heard I was being summoned. I there we go. Okay. Name. All right. There we go. There we go. I kind of forgot what the summon was. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I know it's sort of some kind of medical term. Um, oh man, I wasn't looking. I was setting up a live stream um, on Streamyard. What, uh, what, what the hell? Was, which? What was the medical thing that I was trying to like? Uh, I can't remember. Man, I, I I don't know at all. Well, anyway, but um, yeah. So, mm, mm, well, hell, it's a party now. It's a party now. Oh yeah, man. Still- we got the Deacon here. We got the Grover. Deke. We got Scotty, who's getting lightning quick with these with these uh, tabs. Well, you know what it is, actually? It's because I have multiple monitors now, and we have the desktop Nice. Here. So everything nice, I was doing man. was with the laptop. Yeah, everything we have the laptop right here, and that's where Grover can start yeah. controlling things now, too, and learn a little bit of the system. Dude, that, that second or third monitor, they're so clutch, man. I got two oh, yeah. on my setup. Like, I'll have a lecture in one tab. I'll have uh, flashcards in another, and I'll be firing away during this med school stuff. Definitely. It's the way to do nice. it. Like it expanded be able to see exactly what you need to look at and it really helps with this because then i can bring up pictures really quickly right yeah but it's a double-edged sword though because i might have discord open and i might have self-made hitting me up or Man, you guys are me up. you guys really 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 like to chat with each other oh <laughs> yeah oh my yeah, god man. hey we, oh, hey, we, we, hey you're welcome awesome. to you, hey you're in the yes. you're in this you, you have a way to reach us there man so no i definitely see it. i definitely see it Look, we got Mr. Uh, Nimbard here. I Mr. got Nimbard. three on my I got setup. Three on my setup. Word, yeah. word, Mr. Nimbard. Damn, that's that's a you must have a big desk, man. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we actually have we have a folding table right in front oh, of this nice. other table. Oh, hell so yeah. we have we have, I, if you if you hey, you're, you're probably you're probably bougie and have the fucking like things on your wall that you mount your monitors onto so you can like no, slide no, no, around. No, 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 no. I say you got that to blow you. No, no, wait, no, I, I mean, I mean, you know, I know it looks great with the green screen, but it's literally just a green screen yeah. hanging behind us, dude. I mean, if this channel really, really ever takes off, then we'll be upgrading. Like, I'm all about investing back into yeah. the business and uh, into Matt, Matt, promoting, the, promoting the message better. Yeah, you got you to scale up. I like it. Yeah, got to scale yeah. up. Yeah, you know, look logically scale up like I, I don't want to be like one of those fools it's like oh it starts popping off i'm gonna buy a mclaren yeah yeah it's like no actually I, <laughs> and a gun <laughs> hey, it depends on the context though like if you're gonna market it in a way, hold on hold on hold to grip if you're gonna if you're gonna grip maybe get guns. the mclaren <laughs> but uh but you know no i like uh, my idea would be like you know we'll settle settle down in a state with no sales taxes and uh me and no state taxes and then uh yeah and, and, and then, oh, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Mr. Anibra, I just seen it, so I'll answer his channel in one second. So, it's, I mean, I'll, I'll answer his question in one second. God, I'm getting tired. But uh, settle in a uh, state with no tax and just build out in my backyard like a studio that we can actually just go to and not be a part of part of an apartment or part of a house. But uh, what we do here, Mr. Anibra, what we did today is we reacted to the Amber Turd situation. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we, talk, we talked a lot. We, we talked a lot about Amber Turd and what it, what she, uh, her situation with Johnny Depp and how like men could avoid that. Uh, but and and as a just to say, the the pitch of the channel is that we hope you level up with self improvement with a sprinkle, sprinkle or a damn near bucket of sarcasm on top of it. So we have a good time, we talk shit, but we always want to make sure that we uh, we always want to make sure that it comes down to helping men self improve. Uh, and sometimes if we do bring a lady's perspective on it. Where a lady's perspective is needed, you know, I don't need a woman coming here telling me how to improve like something. I think that improvement is guys. So hopefully that answers your question, Mr. Nimbra. I think you know, men help men improve, women help women improve, uh, in well, all aspects. Well, I'm gonna just share this thing right here. Yeah. So, oh, Mr. Nice. Nimbard, what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to look through your channel before I like sub or anything. Uh, but yeah, keep, what you gotta I can keep sell, hitting your goals, man. You make like a lot it. of videos, and it seems like you do take content creation very seriously. Yeah, and, and, and so like we are and, content creators, content creators. So like, I mean, <laughs> turn in bed. <laughs> yes, uh, we take. So we we'll t- check that out later. We, we take content creator. Oh, you, you're subscribed to Chantel Simone and the oh, lead nice. attorney, of course. And Jedi yeah, Mike. You got points I'm there. On a panel with Jedi Mike. Mm-hmm. Jedi Mike Seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've I've seen him on Jay's channel. Yeah, I think I did see him on Jay's channel too. Yeah. Uh, I, I will say I will say this: like, I, I like content creators. Uh, you know, 
I, I think that uh, content creators uh, with content creators with me, if you're taking it seriously and you're working hard, it's such a tough thing to do that I like. I, I don't need to. I don't need to hate on you. If I disagree with you, I'll disagree with you respectfully. You know, uh, but uh, it, it's it's a tough thing to do, and I see that uh, that's the space your journey is on over at your space. Well, very good. Uh, we'll we'll definitely check you out. We'll definitely check you out. Uh, so, I I definitely forgot what we were talking about. Uh, no, I, I want to tag on to the the content creation being difficult, and like yeah, from my from my perspective, I'm still in the hobby stage of it. Mm-hmm. And it's it's pretty rewarding to get a show going, get some people get some people fired up, hopefully spreading a good message, propping people up instead of breaking them down, helping the the viewers, the chats undefeated, helping the viewers figure out what works best for them cuz like we're we're all coming in with different hands here and we got we got to figure out what our options are. And I'm I'm hoping to maybe help these guys figure out what's on the menu for them. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I like you say something that like the world is your lavatory. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I really I really like that. I can't remember it, of course, because I'm old. Yeah, yeah, I say treat the world like your laboratory and, and instead of looking at the data from like the from like the whole demographic of the population, do data for yourself. Go out there live a little, uh, meet some people, see how people react with you. Check out some things that you maybe want to explore, um, like dive into it, put in the work, uh, mm-hmm. figure out like if it's something for you. If it isn't, it isn't. And now that you know, so you'll have some clarity. If it is something you want to do, become the fucking best version of that you can be. So I, I'm going to say once again, just the fact that your ratio of 337 subscribers and the amount of views you get, it's like phenomenal. Yeah, I don't know what Jada's uh, numbers are, like her subscriber count, but just the view to to um, the view ratio, it's it's amazing. So yeah, we got people, I don't know why we got, we got people because, yeah. we got people watching the the Pokemon vids too, and that, that's just fun. That's just having people on. Like it's something it's magical when I'm playing Pokemon and I got Poppy Blanco TV hopping in the talking about LeBron James. Like it's a fever dream in a stream, uh, yeah. but the the interviews are the bread and butter here. Like we got Shift, JP Hives, Grover. I need to get you, David, someday. We got MD. Uh, I got Alex playing with fire as one. Marquise, uh, Poppy Blanco, and here. some other people. Like we got El Brujo, which is a great DJ. Kevin Ray Wilder. Kevin Ray Wilder. Yeah, that was a that was a fun stream. <laughs> Poor Alex. Poor Alex down there. Poor Alex. This yeah, is yeah. the hard part. <laughs> oh, that was, that, was Co- have... that was Coach Kevin. Yes, Coach Kevin. I mean, not yeah, not yeah. Coach Kevin. Coach uh, Coach Ryan. Co- yeah, yeah, yeah. I said yeah, Alex. Yeah. Sorry about that. I Coach swear, Ryan. every time I see Kevin, oh, here's a QB passport flexing. Yeah, um, I see Kevin Ray Wilder on the streams. I because you showed um, you told me which videos to watch of Kevin Ray Wilder, and <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's a, uh, <laughs> it gets intense. Everyone's arguing and fighting. <laughs> and yelling at each other i'm like man yeah vicious. yeah you know you know like all these people i have on like even if they things get drama filled and heated i still want everyone to succeed mm-hmm. I, I just i just want people to have the the information so they can make an informed decision like i i've been linked with the black pill before but i would like to say that my channel is more of an autonomy channel where people can figure out what's on the menu for them and make the choice that fits best with them. Yeah. And, and if I'm not bringing someone that's good for you this week, maybe next week I'll have someone that aligns with you. Yeah, so, that's, so stay that's tuned. That's good. That's good. Uh, I, it's, it's very, uh, I mean, I, I, like I said, I, I told self made that he could back me up. I was like, man, if, if, uh, if, if you, if this was what you were going to do, man, you could be, like your interview style kind of reminds me of Donahue, and I know it sounds crazy, but I used to watch Donahue a lot when I was a kid because I would always get in trouble and I wasn't allowed to go out, but I used to sneak and watch TV mm-hmm. <laughs> when people went to work. Uh, and and like he he would have engaging conversations that were entertaining. A lot of times when I was young, people would engage conversations. When I mean engage, like everybody was into it and quiet and watching it, like oh my god, I would be super boring, like watching Barbara Walters or stuff. I'd be like, this is super boring yeah. to me. But like him, for somehow, I, 
him and Montel Williams were always, you know, Montel Williams, of course, I was older, but they were always engaging to me and always like, man, I, it really spoke to me. So I, I think that you you have those qualities because you, you ask follow-up questions, but you let a lot of air, you let a lot of people talk. So I, uh, well, that, that's the thing though. Like it, like I'm, I'm asking the way I treat it is that whenever I have a guest on, like people, my, my stance, I could say what I believe in, in a couple minutes. And then I, I want to hear what the guests have to say. Well, and the my, only way to do that is to listen and let them talk. Exactly. Yes. My favorite quote is, let's explore this. Let's explore that. <laughs> let's, let's explore, explore that. that. Let's explore let's this. Explore that. And, and now I'm like, people will think I'm not keeping track, but I'm keeping track. So I might, I might go back to something right. if, you, if, you, if you switch it up. Because I'm trying to learn, too. I'm a young guy. So well, he's, I'm, he's, well, saying, I'm not. he's saying you'll. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I'm getting there. And I'm getting there. Ageism. And I'm getting there. No, no, uh, hey, hey, you're a young guy, like according to the hospital. Yeah. So, well, you know, like I started. One. Um, I was watching. I forgot who I was watching. I think it was Kevin Samuels, and he was saying that. Um, now I'm like 36. I'm technically halfway through my life if current uh, medical technology doesn't advance, and if I don't take care of myself. And I'm like, yeah, that's actually a really good point. No, but hey, you gotta make the best of it, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta have your health before anything else, because you can't do shit if you're bed bound. Exactly. Yes. Man, you know, it's like like one of the biggest things that I learned, and uh, I learned just about relationships, and I learned just about age, is that uh, when father time gets a hold of you, it's really brutal. Like, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and and also, um, yeah, and, and you said you were 440 at a point. I bet that was really brutal on you. Uh, you know what? I didn't even know, dude. I didn't know until one day. Uh, what happened, I honestly, is I, uh, you know, when you get that big, your immune system just takes a crap, right? I mean, oh, yeah, just, ab absolutely. Yeah, you're just inflamed everywhere. Yeah, so I do jujitsu and I have a leg that I've broken many times, uh, broken playing oh, football. Probably, it probably took forever healing. Well, it healed up, but I was younger. But I got uh, I hope oh, everybody's coming back. I, I got I got staff in that leg, and it, it actually was worse. Oh no, oh, no. and it was, it was bad. It was bad. I do you remember when I had it, Scott? Yes, you uh, sent me a picture, and I was like, Oh my god, you're about to die. Yeah, <laughs> it was I, concerning. I got so sick, I lost like 21 pounds in like seven days. Black skin, can you give us your voice for a second? Yes, this is me. Yeah. This is me. Right. I thought you were going to sleep. Going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Well, so so did we, but we're we're gonna we're gonna close it out here soon. Uh, yeah, we're yeah, we're, we're we possibly might have someone else that's yeah. coming on. Yeah, I, I don't, but it I might don't, not happen. So I be I all right. So It'll be all right. Uh, but uh, so I, I so I, I I got like a twenty one pound jump start. And yeah, I, well, yeah. Merce, Merce is no fucking joke, man. Dude, it and was like, it was bad. And, you, and the doc, and you, doctor told and me you, that. And you probably got it, got it from being in the hospital, the hospital uh, no, from a prior medical problem. issue. I got it at well, I, no, I never went to the hospital. I got it at my gym. Ah, uh, somebody had it at at the gym, and I I, I rolled with them and I got it doing Brazilian jiu jitsu. Yeah, and, and so, but also I I do I do Thai boxing too, and so. I have cuts on my shins from like when you just kick something too hard, you get a little cut. So that's where it got in. So I had that yeah, in my leg. Sense. I got really sick. And then when I got better, I said, you know what I'm not going to do is this shit again. And so, and that start, it started that day. Like as soon as I got better and I realized, because I was so sick, as soon as I got better, it's like I, I went through away all the sugar in my house. I mean, I, I, I drink water. I, I said, I'm going to drink water, whiskey, and beer for the rest of my life. And I'm, I'm and then now I don't even drink uh, liquor for right now. I haven't drank liquor for about a month. I'm just drinking water. Uh, sometimes I drink hard, uh, seltzer waters without sodium, and uh, I drink some uh, carrot juice every now and again for the vitamins. But I, and and I just I just went on a weight loss journey, and it was just to to be healthier because I watched my dad die, and he was in good shape. And then when think about a person who's been in good shape his own life and gets sick. What's gonna happen to me when I'm in bad shape and I get sick? Yeah. And so yeah. I, I just yeah. well, I, I, I kind of I didn't have one of those stories like you. Uh, and I think someone has an echo right now. Just checking out there. Well, I'm gonna mute. I'll mute everybody except you. 
Perfect. Perfect. And I still hear it. Uh, Well, yeah, I was just going to say, okay, we're good now. Yeah, I was just going to mention that um, I had a similar thing, uh, not exactly personal health issue like yourself, uh, but when I started like losing weight, I was actually working as a volunteer in the med surge unit of a hospital in the town where my university was. And I saw diabetes, like how it affects people long term. Brutal, just the slowly lopping off limb, the lopping off the foot, like goes from foot. It goes from toes to foot to ankle, uh, all the way up, just slowly cutting off limbs. Uh, the kidneys go, and I was like, I don't want that to be me, because like I knew that that was my my trajectory based on my family history and my diet. So uh, I had to make a change. Yeah, no, no I, I mean, I, I absolutely, I, I absolutely understand. Also, what I realized is that. I never seen any 65 year old 300 pounders walking around facts and so i was just like i said well look then i need to get under three <laughs> yeah yeah like I, I i saw some people in like like when i was in the working in the er like i would see some people that were like 400 plus pounds like 500 400 to 500 pounds stuff like that and like they were 45 and i was thinking like normally patient wise that would be young for us but for them, like I'm like, you know, they're kind of near the end of the the line. It's kind of kind of jacked up when you think of it that way. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, so Deke, hold on a second. We got black kid in here, man. Uh Black Sikid, can you unmute? There we go. So what's up, man? Yeah. Man, the caduceus is making me sad. What he's talking about <laughs> reminds me of my grandmother that passed away. Yeah, right. you know she had her she had her leg amputated. Um, just like what he was talking about, she was a smoker, poor diet. She had her above the knee amputation, and then it got lower and lower and lower until you know. Yeah, I mean yeah, well, higher, I, higher. Excuse and, me. and and the tragic thing of these numbers is that when they have after they have, I think the stats like on average, like after they have their first amputation, they usually like die within three years. Well, yeah, she probably lasted about uh, six years after that. So I guess that's um, a little yeah. higher scale. You know, Brutal, folks, what I'll say is that, like, we need to look at things that I always say this. Like, I, I, I wind up mentoring kids, and the way it happens is that their parents come in. Well, maybe if they do martial arts with you, you know, I do a private lesson because they don't feel comfortable with other folks. Maybe if they do martial arts with you, uh, you can actually you can actually talk some sense into them, right? It's just what it comes down to. And, like... You know, once you start, fit, like I tell kids all the time, okay, like I, I had this one kid, and he was always telling me about, like, he was just upset with not being able to get a girl. He wanted this, and I said, why don't you fix everything you can fix? Why don't you just work on everything you can fix? Number one, and number one, you know, wash your ass. I mean, let's be real. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> let's just be real. You come in here smelling like booty and fucking cheddar. And then you then you oh, you're wondering why nobody wants to fuck with you. I said, Did you tell him to I wash told, his ass? I told him to wash his ass. You know, Scott, you know I told him to wash his ass. <laughs> I know I just want you to say it. Again. I told him wash wash your ass and, and stop coming in here smelling. I said, if you smell around me, you go smell around other people. Right? If you can't do it when it's not important, you can't do it when it is important. So that's number one thing. So number one, number two thing, stop stop worrying about everybody else and worry about what you can make yourself good at. What are you good at? Right, you want to be good at martial arts, okay? Then give me 200 roundhouse kicks on this bag right now. If you want to be good at it, if you don't want to be Can good, you at describe it, this person just, like physical just, characteristics. All right, so the, the person <laughs> you've heard the story, before. I know, but they have oh, so I haven't right. heard it. Oh man, so, so the, go the, in. First, the person was like one of those skinny fat people. Oh, so, yeah, so like, oh, like, okay, he's tall, but he got like a belly and stuff. And he, he was, you know, he had like this, like. He had an echo. Yes, not good. So, so like the the gentleman would like he come in, and he like kind of wore the same clothes, and he was like in his twenties and his was living with his parents still and everything, which is not a big, it's not a big deal. You know, you know why it's not a big deal? It's not a big deal because in the Bay Area it's expensive as hell, and you might live with your parents long. That that was that was me like that was me last year, so I I can't blame him. So, so it's no big deal, right? It's no big deal. Uh, But I told him, I said. 
And like the thing that got me, and this is I've had two people with the same thing. That fool's t-shirt was too short and his little belly was peeking out the bottom. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I was like, bro. Crop top action. I was like, bro. So so like I'm, I'm, I'm holding pads for him and he's doing punches like hella wrong. And every time he do a punch, I see his belly rise. I see, <laughs> his, I see his shirt rise. I see the bottom of his belly. And I was like, listen, bro. Like this shit is not the business, man. So this is what I want you to do. Was there stains on the shirt too? So, wore the same as dirty clothes, dude. Oh my so goodness. I told him. So I told some, him. some Dorito dust on it, maybe. So oh, I said, oh I said, my God. I said, listen, you have to be the you have to be the person. You no one's gonna get with you to uh make you. No one's gonna get with you to make you over at one point. So try to be the person that maybe they want to be with. I mean, you gotta meet a base attraction, and you can't meet a base attraction if you haven't. Like wash your ass, wash your ass, brush your teeth. <laughs> take basics. care of all, of, take care of all the low hanging fruit, bro. Take care of all of that. I told him, take care of all of that before you complain about anything, dude. And then, then after that, you start working on stuff, right? Uh, and, and, and like you know, you know, he, he lasted for he lasted for about a year with me. He got got him some better shape, and you know, it, it's easy. But just some of the things. I mean, I, some of the things you talk about. You talk you talk to people and you tell them like, listen, it's not. I, I'm not I'm not a touchy feely huggy type of guy when I'm coaching, like. I don't I don't care if you're tired, you know, I'm paid to do a job. This is the world. The world doesn't care if you're tired. The world doesn't give a fuck about you, honestly. And so that's, that's good. You're on the like you're on the clock and they're paying you money, so you're getting full value. Yeah. You got value max. Yeah. Oh, uh, and, and I'm expensive. I'm I'm a, I'm expensive for what I charge. So I, I expect if I'm gonna charge, I would feel horrible charging what I charge an hour. Not delivering maximum value, and I'm not going to mm. charge less because I know I'm worth it. And so um, that that's that's what I was doing in that in that situation. Uh, I, I have one kid who I mean I have one kid who's been with me since he was since he was 11 and he's 16 now, and, and he went through a lot of changes, but he's a, a lot a lot better a lot better at handling situations, including you know. It's funny. It's funny. You teach someone how to box. You teach someone how to kick. You teach someone how to strike, and they don't really want to. They don't really want to strike. They, they 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 understand more self control. It's just interesting to me. But anyway, uh, that that was just my uh my my soapbox here. I guess I'm getting tired maybe they're, maybe they're thinking like, oh, if I beat this guy's ass, I'm gonna be tired after. I don't yeah. want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they're thinking if they if they beat someone's ass, they gotta come spar me. I, I like like I actually I actually tell tell kids that you know part 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 of being a part of knowing anything it's a responsibility and you got to be responsible to yourself and responsible to your family so if you're not really defending yourself or your family you you really shouldn't be jumping on people it's the bottom line so guys look where are we at here we're at three hours and twenty seven minutes mm-hmm. and it's time for me to have dinner. <laughs> So uh, let's get let's get a, a round of last thoughts. Let's start with the Deke and get some last thoughts, and let's get a lightning round and close it out. Deke, what you got to say? My final thoughts was great stream. I enjoyed my time here as always. It's, it's a pleasure. I appreciate being a part of THPP's hosting on the site here on a case that needs to end now because <laughs> it, it's so it's already a done deal. Just let him yes, cash sir. the check and enjoy his rest of his life. That's you know, serious. and this teaches young men to vet the chick and do not ignore red flags when they come. Yes. I love you all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to do a little, you know, a smack of a table, but it's a, it's a common thing, you know, it's just the younger generations have to look at this and go, not me, you know, unless you get to the red pill guys, maintain frame and spin plates. Let's not even get, let's not even touch that part. But now I appreciate it, fellas, and thanks for having me on. Had a great time. Look forward to future streams as well, guys. Yes, yes, we will. We will. And you know, you know, Deke, uh, I enjoy having you. So you know, come up anytime. Anytime we drop the link, you hit the link, man. Even if you just want to say hi, okay, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. Have a good night. Have a good night. All right. Peace out, fellas. Peace out. And right, for, the, for the second time, ca- Caduce, my oh, brother. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hogging all your screen time over here. I'm uh, going to double promote. I'm the vital message on uh, YouTube. 
You can add me at TVM Caduceus on Instagram. Well, I'll promote some of my streams. Sometimes I'll go live on IG with guys like Self Made, uh, Tony, Tony Bruno, uh, <laughs> and guys like Shift. Just chat about life, recap of the week, maybe. Um, nice, nice. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I got. I should be streaming tomorrow. I see a couple people have sub during the stream, so salute to everyone that did. And uh, subscribe to Deacon Little. Subscribe to the THPP Network. Smack that bell, and subscribe to Blackskin in Taiwan. Uh, Stute Trends, who was on earlier, and Jada, who was on earlier. Give yes. everyone love. Man, appreciative, appreciative, man. Thank you so much, and uh, may the force be with you, my brother. Appreciate right. it, man. Have a good night. All right. And how did this come out? Blackskin, you get the final word, my man. You came up okay. twice. I, I planned it like that. <laughs> so, yeah, man. so uh, everyone out there, man, if your grandma or your grandpa's around, give them a hug, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Give them a call. Yeah, and also, too, for the young for the young men out there, I mean, it's been a minute since I've been on the, in the dating game. However, Vet these girls, and if they, if they're into scat play, go the other way. That's all <laughs> I got so to say. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, subscribe to all the all the all the bros channels, man. Black Skin in Taiwan, you know, and the TPP uh, THPP Network, bro. Caduceus, uh, man, get to that self-made Discord. David Little, Poppy Blanco, you know the whole crew, bro. You know how we yes. do. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, I mean, thank you so much for rocking with us, man. And, uh, of course, you know, I look forward to watching the growth of your channel and more content. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's a grind, bro. And, and if you're down to grind, we're yep. down to help you shine. Appreciate it. That, that is the truth. That yes, yes. Truth. Okay, All we're right. going to drop you down and we're going to deliver some final words. Okay. Have a good night. All right. So, you know, you know, Scott. We, we did a lot of – this is a long stream, and we talked a lot about uh, the Amber Turd situation. Uh, and, and, you know, I know we may light up a bit, but what it really comes down to me, the most important thing, is that I think there's two factors working at this from uh, Johnny Depp's point of view, right? And, men, it's up to you to vet people, right? And, and, and women, of course, you vet the man, but, man, you got to vet who you're getting with. And this is the thing that I say. I think that Johnny – Never be resting on your laurels. Yeah, he, even your and I think he was position. resting on his laurels because he's been at – that alpha Chad, beautiful dude. And uh, when he got a little older, I mean, you could see like a lot of the stuff that they heard, he was really worried about her. He was really, he was worried about her going to get other people. He was not securing himself. So that's number one thing, right? You gotta make sure that you're, you're mating appropriately. Like if you're gonna feel jealous about your lady working, then that's an issue too. And I'm not saying that Johnny is bad. I'm saying that Johnny is something that he could have did better because we're looking at this because I'm going to get to Amber Heard next. Another thing I think is that, look, man, you got to understand the family history before you get with somebody. You just can't be here and just like say, hey, you know, you're hot, you're sexy, so I like you. You got to be like, you know, what's your, what's your family like? What's your folks like? What's going on? Uh, and when you have that type of money, yes, people do run background checks, and it is what it is. With that being said, Amber Turd, <laughs> look, you, you, you shit in a man's bed. And you lie about the, t I mean, at the very least, if it wasn't domestic abuse, it was mutual combat that was going on at the very <laughs> least. Now, yes, Johnny's bigger and stronger than you, but you see over and over again when he says, you hit me and I try to leave and you hit me and I try to leave. And so I think that it, it should be fitting that she lied. She lied and defamed this man in order to push her career, in order to get more, uh, more, push for Aquaman and it is what it is so I'm not saying that she's an evil <clears throat> succubus but she damn sure looks like one right now yeah well what's your thoughts on this guy my thing is it's not mutual combat maybe physically but there's it seems kind of still one-sided and but the mind games the mind combat she had an upper hand the Undefeated. emotional combat Undefeated. she had the upper hand right she was doing whatever she was using her femininity in the most toxic way to get this man to dive into his toxic masculinity. Yeah. But he was able to hold frame as much as he could, even though he really didn't. Yeah. But it was still enough where it weathered a storm. So, so she's so, that perfect storm. Yeah. Um, and looks like <laughs> kind of aged her around the eyes here from all this crap that she 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> no pun intended again. Hey, for all, yeah. for all, for all. Well, yeah. when you shit in someone's bed, you get tired. Yeah. But anyway, so look, look, guys, uh, as always, like and subscribe on YouTube, right? Check our Patreon at the Tip Network. We'll be putting a lot there. And everybody, if you really want to rock with us, cost less than a cup of coffee, you can hit that membership uh, and you right can here. be like, you can be the tip membership. join button. Be the tip membership. You can be a part of the Polite Savages, the tip two, and we will actually uh have a lot of things. I, I've been thinking about a lot of great things to do with the members. We were actually going to have a member in studio guest today, but the member uh, could not do it. But we're thinking about if you're in the Bay Area and you're a member, and of course, after we vet you, you know, we can have you in studio for a guest. We can also, we're also going to have some, uh, so, uh, when our tiers, we'll have some material just for our members. And Patreon, we're going to put a lot of value in Patreon, a lot of stories, a lot of things, just a lot of podcast style stuff that we all have there. And of course, the content creator stuff that um, we're really passionate about, and not everybody's a content creator, but if you're a few content creators and we can help you, we're more than willing to. Uh, so, you know, as always, you know, like and subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you for rocking with us tonight, man. Everybody who contributed and supported us, it's very humbling, uh, very humbling because, you know, like you don't, you had all, you spent three hours with us, you could have spent it anywhere else. Uh, so I guess we, it's only one thing left to do, Scott. What's that? Ask yourself one burning question. Uh, what do you think she ate when she shattered on the bed? Corn. Can you handle the tip? <laughs> Boom. Out. Booty in your face. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>